democracy. Now, if any of you sons of bitches got anything else to say, now's the fucking time. Hey, everybody, Jim and Sam are here. It's time to celebrate the moment. Feel it in my soul. It's written in my bones so deeply. I want to lose control. Thank you for joining us. Oh yeah! I wasn't gonna be here today. I didn't. I was supposed to be flying home today, but I made it in. Um, we it, know. I know. Sorry. We know. I know. I don't care about your dumb little party you had spoiled. I'm burning days off. <laughs> we so know. I had to move could, seats. I know. Good. Yeah. <laughs> they had to put your sh- your shitty little prima prima donna buffet next to you. Well, I happen to like a nice <laughs> pair of glasses and uh, and <laughs> and a fuck and, torso. And I like a fuck torso. And uh, t- a thing of eye drops. And a variety. A bear because you're loud. And for headaches. <laughs> some purell so I don't have to touch you. And and some uh, some simple saline to blow my nose. Hold on, one at a time. Another <laughs> pair of glasses which are probably not needed. And <laughs> uh, another pair of glasses which are broken. And um, more, more eye stuff. Well, those are unnecessary. Those are those are from. Redundancy is good though. And you. yes, redundancy and, is important. Another eye thing. And. That's it. There's a bell. What? So there's the tray. I, I forgot about that. That's the case, but that's for Doug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you have your own little wooden butler tray, which makes me sick to my stomach. It was a gift from who? The uh, had the the new uh, CEO. Oh, no. well, there you go. Well, how else do you, or- to you then? How else do you organize your trinkets? Yeah. If not, if you don't have a tray, yeah, have have a all that tray. stuff would look ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's just a little cunty buffet of. <laughs> well, look I mean, at you, you big, you stupid fucking. Hey, big hey, bag. hey, don't get so angry. Hey, wait, wait, all right. I'm Listen. tired. I fucking yeah. flew. I'm I got tired. no sleep. I got no sleep. You shouldn't get sleep. Why? Why would you? What is that? Just saying shit. What are you doing? Jim just saying. Look at your bag. I say, hi, I say good morning. Hey, I'm kidding, I'm sorry. Buffet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's mad. I, I, thought it, I thought it'd be funny. Jim's not taking jokes. He got down. Don't, Jim, you're the crankiest motherfucker, and, you get, I'm, and I'm cranky with you, and you're like, I can't take I'm jokes. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, I accept it. I'm sorry. Bob, I, Bob, I thought, Bob got downgraded from guest host to just guest. Well, I'm sorry. But I mean, I, it was going to be the Bob and, and Sam show. And he I, got believe me, upset. I'd be very happy with that. <laughs> However, I wasn't going to burn another day off when I I got offered a ride home last night. Ooh, Let's be honest. A ride? Yeah. Was it a ride? It was a ride. Yes. Jumping on a PJ. It wasn't planned, but I was supposed to fly home this morning, and then it turned out uh, Bert was flying back after we did Kill Tony. He had a, a private plane booked, and they said, would you like to jump on with Bert? And I said, yes, I would. No, I'd far prefer to fly commercial. Exactly. I flew I flew a fucking, it, it, it was just, I had the best two days of my life. <laughs> really? The best two days of your life. <laughs> it was of your life. Well, that's incredible. It was. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! A fun. <laughs> how could, but how could you have the best two days of life without Maybe. all that stuff with you? Um, <laughs> what, you you're be, mad about the buffet. <laughs> yes, though. he is. He's mad about the buffet. I know, but the fact that you weren't there and now you are, I'm like, God, those were the days. <laughs> it was great. Uh, yeah, it's in comparison that you realize <laughs> yes. how good you had it. Yes. <laughs> Jim's just flailing mean shots. Well, I'm you sorry. no, you are taking you shots. You coming in you, hot. You are Don't taking shots. Come in hot and then not like. Uh, he's, yeah. Stop it! <laughs> like, I'm using my little Sam technique on you right That's now. That's not gonna work. That's true. <laughs> no. You can't take shots at his buffet yeah. and then act like you're a victim. Yeah, no, always... I think it's fine that he has a buffet. It's yeah, nice. of course I do. You get the giant bag right there. We can well, both have our stuff. Stop things. bringing up my bag. No, you I'm do. Not it is. Bag. It's a travel buffet. Of course it is. It's of course it is. It takes how unsightly that is. It is not unsightly. I mean you. This is. <laughs> so the best two days of your life. I was. It was great. It was a great trip. What I, was it? 
Whitney asked me to go. We, we did the Burt Kreischer roast April oh. 1st at Premier. She said, would you come to Austin? And we're doing the first Kill Tony Rogan's Club Open. Uh, Comedy, Comedy Mothership. Mothership. Yeah. How was it? A fucking, it literally makes me want to live in Austin. It was that good, the club. It's it's a perfect comedy club. Right. It's fucking, the sound is perfect. There's a great hang. Every, there's a bunch of comics hanging out. It was Ron White was there. Uh, Tim Dillon, Joe, who I never get to see. It, 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 Tony Hinchcliffe. It, it was just so much fucking fun. Because yeah, they're all out there, right? They're That's all where they out live. there. It was, it was so great. And again, it was South by Southwest, which is probably not as many people typically in town there. Rogan really wasn't bluffing when he was like, no, I moved to Austin and I'll just take comedy with me. He built a club, yeah. and the club is, it, it's like a soft open, but- um, Perfect for you. Dude, yes, it certainly is. It matches <laughs> my stomach and my dick. I was thinking dick. Um, well, you were right, but both. <laughs> I had to be honest. It, it's incredible. Yeah. Um, it, it's a perfect club. It, the, the stage looks cool. stage is amazing. The sound is amazing. Little shit that comics appreciate, like when you're in the green room, and the guy gets the light downstairs, the light goes on in the green room so you know when you have to go down. Like little right, shit that makes that's it amazing. And that's... makes a comedian's life easier. That the, the people who go to the show will never know. Yeah. Uh, but there's like this 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 tunnel underneath when you're going towards the stage and there's another light down there if you need it. Like just so you know what, where the comic is. It's just so great. I, I had such a fucking nice time being there. And that's awesome. Did, did they have, set, yeah. did they have, did you do a, a comedy show or just? I wasn't gonna go out, but uh, they asked, he, of course, Bert said, do you wanna go up and do a set? Because Bert headlined Sunday, so I did a set before him, and it was just unbelievable. Uh, do they have a, I wonder if they have a check spot. I wonder if they got rid of that. I don't know. I actually didn't. I, I didn't hope he. That. I, I hope remember. he didn't spend all. I hope oh, he. Looks awesome. He he figured out how not to do a check spot. How yeah. many people does it? How big is it? I I, I think two fifty. But then two rooms. Two. There's another room which yeah. has not been used oh. yet. They're they're still in the final processes of getting everything. But there's a smaller room upstairs where they can do open mics and. It, I mean, That's it's, so fun. Yeah, it looks at like the comedy store wow. in L.A. There's all these like tributes to the comedy store. That looks amazing. Yeah, it was it was great. It was really great. Oh, and he, I can he, see he, that it's. I can see that it's inspired by the comedy store now with the way it's laid out. Yeah, you can. Yeah. When, when you see the main stage, looks yeah. like the, and and the little hang areas afterwards. There was just all these comics hanging out. Um, it was just. It was just a, a really really. Fun well, he hired time. all the people from the all the people from the comedy store. Yeah. that were killing it. He took them all to Austin and paid them. Mm. During he just paid them the whole time. The club wasn't open because of the pandemic, and they had to re, they had to right. find a new club. Because the first one didn't work, oh, that's so we right. had to find a new place. They found a new place, and he took them all from LA and still paid them. Yeah, which is great. That's the move. And there, I mean, Adam, right? I believe it is from. Oh, uh, the manager. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he, he's got the best people work in the club. And Ron White, just seeing Ron White just hang out in a comedy green room. Yeah. You don't get to see Ron White just like you know because Ron White comes in, he's Ron White, he's fucking headlining, he's a you know a major theater headliner, and just to see him in a comedy club green room hanging out, wow. and then he went on when Bert was on and told a story. It was just it was just fun, it's, man. It's built for for comics and comedy fans. Yeah. And like yeah. That's awesome. Incredible, yeah. And then uh, Kill Tony was fantastic last night. Fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, it was, uh, I did it with Bert and Whitney, and, and Tony's really funny host. Have you done that It was probably? you, Bert, and Whitney on Kill Tony? You were the judges, yeah. Dude, no. That's a, that's a colossal Kill Tony. It was great, Tony. yeah. It was great. Um, it's a fun show. You would, you would do great on it. And, yeah, uh, I was supposed to, well, I was in, when I was in, um, when I did Rogan, that was, he had a week off, which sucked. Tony had a week off. From oh, it was so off. Okay. Yeah. Does yeah, he do that, like, pretty much? Regularly from Austin now? He does yes. it twice a week now. He, wow. From that club. This is the first one. This is the first one at at the at Rogan's club. This was the first time they did it there. I think they were doing it at the what's it called? Because of the V? Vulcan. There you go. It was yeah. across the street or something. Which is down the block. I mean, I did that when I was at Ro Rogan's show he has there once a week. He's it's such an amazing crowd. A crazy, like awesome crowd. Yeah. And then Rogan is so generous, he hands you just a wad of cash. And you, you, you're like, what the, I just put it in my pocket. I look later, it was like a grand. That's awesome. And you're like, you did 15 minutes. Yeah. And he wow. just hands you, here, take that. And you're like, and you're like, well, oh, dude, I'm cool. He's like, nah, no, take it. He's right. just such a generous guy. And he's building- Kill Tony has a different philosophy, by the way. They did, they did not... <laughs> You get nothing. I did not hand you a wad of cash. No. Okay. no, I didn't care. It was very fun. Yeah. <laughs> Exposure. It was so much fun, dude. It was. How's Tony uh... gonna get those outfits? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. That's sick, though. You, Tony, 
Burt. Was Tim there? Whitney. Tim, oh, yeah, I forgot. So Tim Dillon. Yeah, Tim, yeah, Tim was there last night. Um, yeah, it was just. Tim's hilarious. I yeah. was out there. He has a beautiful house he bought out there. In Austin? You, you saw his house? Well, when it all happened, Rogan was like, get a move. So he just did. He bought a house with a guest house pool. <laughs> it's like in the desert. It's like outside the city, but close to the city. But the whole time he's like, there's no food here. There's nothing. They got nothing. They got like one restaurant that's open until five. <laughs> it's just so funny. He's like, I, I want out. I want to move to Tampa. <laughs> yeah, I imagine you get, but but because of Joe, there's a great scene there. Like, it's a better scene. Maybe there was a good scene before. There's six, it's a, it's I think there's six scene. clubs. Yeah. I mean, when I was there, I was like, how many, six I was clubs? talking to one of the comics. I was like, I was like, how many times can you get up? He's like, oh, I can go here. There was the creek. There's the old, right. the old, uh, whatever the fuck, Cap City that's still open. The the dude from the, uh, the whatever they call it, the uh, Helium's own it. And then they have Joe's Club. Then there's um, Vulcan. There's Vulcan, but there's a there's there's like four other clubs that are open that wow. do comedy. Austin's becoming a fucking and the comics that are there, the young comics, they're really funny. There's some really funny guys. Yeah. That were a couple. Some of them came in from L. A. Yeah. Um, but there's some very very funny dudes there yeah. that were that were. There was a couple of bombs too, which was great. But there was some really funny young comics. Yeah, um, it was it was great, man. Yeah, Joe South by really. Southwest is about to start too, right? It's already going on. It is starting. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. another. It was, so I didn't get a chance to like go down there just like on a normal weekend. It was just it's everything's kind of crazy right now. The right. roads are all blocked off. Yeah. But it was, actually, South by Southwest is a cool one because that's when they have the they have the gadget thing. You like gadgets? Yeah, they have. Well, they have the whole indoor. Um, well, the the the. L convention L convention center and it's all you can go there and you get a bunch of free shit like headphone companies cool. and Jabra and Sony and you know everybody's in there and all these weird like uh, Chinese company with new tech just go there to sell to people yeah and you they'll give you free shit yeah yeah it's great I didn't even know it was South by Southwest until I was I was on the plane and I, I knew the guy I was sitting next to looked familiar to me. Like I, I'm like I have seen this guy, um, and then he talked to someone else who got on the plane. I'm like, oh yeah, I think I know him. And the, and the other guy it was Andrew Yang, who who was uh, he, he flies coach. I guess he's just you know he's a man of the people. Um, and, uh -huh. the, and the guy I was sitting next to was uh, Anthony uh, Scaramucci. You were sitting next to Scaramucci. Scaramucci, yeah. <laughs> and I, I talked to him at the end. He was he was very uh, pleasant, but I was like, it was driving me nuts. I'm like, I know, I know this guy. He's he was like the secretary of the press for like a day, right? A very very yeah. brief uh, position in the Trump administration because but, he was recorded on the phone talking shit, right? I don't remember. But I think that's what it, that's what. Oh, it was, was that right? it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't remember the story, but he was doing something down there. Um, he was you know, like speaking at some uh, some event. Which. <sighs> Adam in Florida. We're trying to have a good time. Yeah. Sam. What? You're doing it again, man. I have not touched my mic today. He called in yesterday. Could play. I haven't touched my mic today. And I'm not touching mine. I'm not touching mine. Yeah, I don't even... You I mean, have to, If you go in a vehicle and you put your sound on, it sounds like something's going wrong with Travis, the Travis, who's been touching their mic? Somebody's got a monitor. I'm not touching... It's I haven't you. It's you. You just don't you know. Have, you have a nervous twitch. I yeah. have not touched my mic today. Yeah, you don't You don't oh, know no. you're doing it. You just yeah. shake I've it. Like, every you. time you laugh at a joke, you're... <laughs> 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 well, if that's the case, I definitely haven't touched my mic today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, snap. Just being cute. I yeah, it worked. Snap. Just being cute. Yeah, it was cute. It's just being snap cute. Snap-oh. Thank you, Adam. I have not touched my mic today. It was out of control, though, yesterday. It wasn't out of control. It was completely so in control. Why do you do that, do you think? Yeah. Because I have energy. I like to move. <laughs> I'm nervous. I like yeah. to move. And plus, I'm surrounded by big stars. Of course I'm going to get nervous. He's a weird tick. I mean, he, I, I do agree with that. I understand that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, you know, it's the star power. Thank you, Adam, that's around me all the time. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're doing it again. Stop no, it. No, no, that's not me. Um, uh, you know, you heard the seller. Has big news. Yeah, I know. What's that. the big news? Oh, wait, they're not saying it. They're not saying it. Oh. What are you talking about? Are you sure? Pretty sure. Okay. Can you write it down in your fake notebook? It's and not I can fake. I, it's I, actually it, a notebook unless of the something future. has changed. It, I mean, it's not the biggest deal it's in the, the world, but the I would make 100% sure because when, when I was talking to somebody, it was. When was that? Three days ago. Oh. That's too close. That's super just, close. You said a week ago. I a could've... week ago, yeah, things could have changed for <laughs> oh, three days. A week and a half ago? Oh, I could... <laughs> two, and a half, two and a half hours ago? Yeah, immediately before I, I left for Austin. I, I literally like, just yeah. got off the phone with, I, I, with I, Gnome. I honestly don't know. No, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's things have changed. It was, it's hard to say. I was too busy eating dinosaur barbecue on the private jet last nice. night. <laughs> Is good. there a dinosaur barbecue in Austin? 
Yeah, they lo- awesome. and they loaded the plane. Uh, it, was, it was, you know what company it was? It was, I think it used to be Tony Saragusa's company, huh. uh, partners in it, Titan uh, Air Travel or something, it's called Titan Airways. This fucking plane was so, I don't get the, I've flown private once in my life. And That's just, it? Yeah, only one time with uh, Aziz and Amy and Jay and a whole bunch of us up going up to Oddball doing one set in Toronto. It was like a right. one hour flight and I never get to fly private. Then it was. Uh, was it a big one, like a G five or a G four? Not a G five, no. But it was a bigger of, of the smaller ones. It was a big one. Like it was a bigger one of the smaller right. eight yeah. seater, very comfortable. Right. The fastest plane, the fastest uh, civilian aircraft you can get on. But did you even want it to be fast? Yes, point nine Mach. We were doing at one you, point over 600 miles an hour. They were telling you how fast you were going. That's right. awesome. We were doing like 607 But I would miles want them to hour. slow it down to the experience. You know what I mean? I'd want to enjoy myself on the PJ. Dude, I wasted the whole time being nervous about like, it's going to be turbulent because it was a small uh, plane. You, you worried about turbulence? And, and there was none. <laughs> there was none. And even if we hit a couple bumps, it was fine. Were you sitting uh, backwards or forwards? I had this. It was my only request. Like, please let me face forward um, yeah, because yeah. I get sick. Yeah, That's I can't okay. sit. But uh, it was just... Who person. was on the plane? Bert? It was myself, Bert, his assistant. There was a camera guy with him and also the person who does all of his like social media. Um, he had like four people with him. Okay. Three just people his team, him. Just his team, not Yeah, his comics. team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and me. And what, he came back to New York? Yeah, he's doing a bunch of stuff. There. His special just is, is on now, I think, on Netflix. Why does he come it's, in here? I don't know. They, they already had stuff planned. I mean, oh. I didn't... I don't. If someone's already coming to New York and they don't mention coming on, I don't ask them. I'm like, all right, I just don't want to come on. Yeah. Well, I mean, he probably would. I don't think he, Bert doesn't want no, to come on. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't. He's probably just going where he's told to go. Yeah, yeah I don't impose that. Like, yeah. if, if somebody wants to come, they come. Um, but yeah, he's doing a bunch of uh, podcasts and stuff to promote his. Uh, I guess he wants to go someplace where they film you. I, I guess that was it. He, I guess he was like, you know what? I want to go places that are actually going to put up posts that, that have are, are filmed. Yeah, they have cameras at the comedy mothership. It's funny you should say that. You could literally shoot a special there. Just they had it right set up. There. Set up eight K, four K. Just to shoot, ready to shoot. Like you wouldn't even have to bring three in a crew. cameras. Beautiful center. Eight K, eight K, and four K. I believe. So. I believe four K. I, I think he said both. I, I don't. I didn't know that, but I know he said eight and four K. Maybe you could do it. In so eight. you can just say, hey, can I shoot a special this weekend? They'll just give you all the footage. I think so, yeah. Wow. I, it looks, I think the audience is Mike. Joe Mike, the audience. It's going to suck because it's going to be 95 specials from the- uh, I know. A lot of specials I that are try not to, ready to hey, be Hey, I'm special. Mike LaBelle. I have a special. <laughs> I want to- Hey. <laughs> I want to try to do one there, though, if, if it's possible. Just do it now. You I, could I, do a Doug Bell special now that well, it's set up for that. <laughs> no, I have enough stuff. I think I haven't, I haven't shot a while. Oh, for you to do it, not oh, Doug yeah, Bell. Yeah, oh, me. thank God. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I'm done with the characters. It's going to be a lot of, lot of comedy motherships. You're, you're done? No, not forever, but for now. Oh, with thank Doug, God. With Doug Bell? With all of it. No more characters for the moment. For the moment. Oh, God. Maybe they'll pop thank up you. on the radio. Shut but up, not Sam. Like, yeah, stop I'm busy, it. so I'm just... Let it go, Sam. Yeah, right. But There's like, a few Dugs going up, but they're all preloaded. Right, but like, so it's but it's not the type of thing where people would stop going to shows going, kills bills. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. Why would they? What? Because so, it's a hot selling t shirt. Somebody yells it at the show. Everyone, Kills look, bells. It just, it'll be dead quick. Boom, boom. And Kills bells. <laughs> and I go, and I'll laugh because I hate it. Yeah. And then, but a lot, some people don't. They're like, what? They get mad at that person. It's like, you don't get mad. It's, yeah. it's a thing. They all they all know. Yeah. yeah. yeah they all know. Yeah. Just the dead eyes coming up uh, at you. Nothing worse than seeing a Doug Bell shirt in the crowd because <laughs> you don't notice it. And all of a sudden you feel weird. And yeah. you look down. You're like, why is this guy? Oh, it's bugging me because a stupid Doug looking up. Uh. You know who's cleaning up in the t-shirt game? Richard Voss. Is he? I seen him. I went to see him in Stanford. Remember he called in? Yep. I did on Thursday night. Went to the New York Comedy Club in Stanford. Yeah. The new club there. It was sure. great. And uh, uh, watched Voss do his hour. He was fantastic. Yeah. And then, you know, as hostile as he is to the audience, sure. he says, you know, he brings a T-shirt on stage. He shows oh. the audience. Oh. He says he's selling T-shirts, but man, I mean. He sells them. He moved a lot of shirts to people on the way out. What's a lot to you? I mean, it was. Like a, John Cena numbers? Well, no, John Cena numbers. Like, like the y- Yankee numbers? No, I mean, no, not Yankee, but <laughs> per, with the percentage of the audience, I mean, it was a good- So he sold five it shirts. Was a, <laughs> it was a yeah, good- Yeah, half the room. <laughs> I, did, I did a quick inventory in my head. It was a good percentage of the audience. How bought. much? I mean, I would say, I don't know, a third of the audience bought mm, shirts. Give me a number. You I'm did, not going to give you, you a number. Give me a number. Nope. It was a 10, 20. 
It was a good amount of shirts. 30 shirts. I'm not going to get into this man's business, but it was a good yeah. amount of shirts. Wow, you got a woof. All right. When you tell me off the air about the comedy seller, I'll tell you about the t-shirts. Okay. They're opening a new club. Ha! <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I can't tell you that. You can. Ba, 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 Listen. Uh... Oh, okay. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> got it. <laughs> now, is that? I, I don't know if that's for public. It is now. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I broke the news. You know where, Travis? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Figured it out. Yeah. Cracked the code. <laughs> when I was told, it was... Yeah. Like the, I get the shush thing. Yeah. 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 So I don't want to say it. So yeah. Bob did. I didn't say Bob. nothing. Bob did. I sang a jingle <laughs> and I said something's happening. Yeah. But anyways. Well, no, you didn't. You said what's happening. I didn't. I did not say what's happening. They're opening a new club. I said that. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't say where. You went. Bah, 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 bah. I don't know what the hell that means. I'm pretty sure. Sure. Is that the intro to Magnum PI? Uh. Uh-uh. Hopefully, Hopefully you'll hear it every day on your way to work. Nothing, huh? I don't know. Oh, because I mean, you work at McDonald's? <laughs> oh, I get it. I, I, I took a second. I think you were too excited. Maybe. Yeah, okay, you, you, you turned. I wasn't I wasn't it's expecting just... a big laugh, but I wasn't expecting the absolute silence that <laughs> I've just <laughs> given somebody's eulogy. <laughs> uh, so you enjoyed the private jet experience? It was amazing. Did the, you have any of the dinosaur barbecue? Oh, like a... I wasn't... I, dude, I ate fucking... The little the ribs they slide mm, right off yeah. the bone. I mm-hmm. ate fucking brisket with barbecue good. sauce. I ate bread pudding. Oh, good, Jim. It was so fucking good. A bag of pretzels. Ooh, I'm glad you had some pretzels because you love your pretzels. I love my pretzels. What'd I just you, looked out the window. What uh, you, what'd you, you guys talk about? Did you guys all sleep? We chatted for a little bit, but it was that Bert was tired. I was tired. We all just relaxed. Yeah. I mean. Um, th- he did some videos and stuff about, and then we just pigged out, and then Bert was just tired. He went and slept, and I just kind of sat there. And he has good people working for him, like his assistant and the social media. Like th- after he fell asleep, they were still kind of strategizing and talking business. So I just kind of relaxed and just looked out the window. We flew at forty-one thousand feet above all the clouds. It was just nice, <laughs> lovely. I didn't, I didn't know you were going to tell me the height you were flying. He, at. He, That's a good height because you uh, go faster and you avoid a lot of shitty weather. What did, did they? Did you what, talk to the pilot? You know, you have a lot of information. Yeah, no, it was on a readout. Oh, you read it. And also, usually, I did talk to the pilot. What do we usually fly at? What is 30, 37. 36, 37, but a lot of times that last five or 6,000 feet, mm. you miss a lot of bad weather because a lot of it uh, is is below a certain- the speed, too. Yeah. The oh, speed. I couldn't believe we were doing that. I saw that you fucking saw 607 miles an hour. You think about that. Come on, of course. <laughs> fucking fl- moving. It's fast. Yeah. Oh. We're getting there. Two and a half hours back Where'd from Where'd you fly in? Teterboro? Austin to Teterboro, yeah. Oh. Million Air is the name of the place. Yeah. And then uh, Signature in Teterboro. But were you happy to get off the plane, or were you like, oh, it would have been okay if my PJ experience I was happy to get longer. off because it wasn't bumpy, and I know we have weather coming in today. Like, if I had kept my commercial flight, mm. it's going to be kind of fucking... Uh, plus, I'm happy to save somebody money who flew me down there on the return. That fucking... That, that barbecue, they, they loaded the perfect... It's like literally going to be hard to go back to fly regular. You know, it, they got it in Harlem. You could, I, they do, yeah. You could pack a lunch next time you fly commercial and bring it with you. Yeah, bring a nice barbecue lunch. Like Voss. <laughs> yeah. God. yeah. You Damn, put a frozen good. water bottle on there because you got around the, the system. <laughs> no, you can bring water on the plane, just freeze it. No, Did but you they know see that? it in the x-ray. It looks like a bomb. No, but you can still take it on. It's not If it's froze, you can't take liquid. Because it's a solid. So he, he takes his little, uh, his little bag, his little uh, cooler bag, yeah. fills it with snacks. And then puts the ice bottles in there, yeah. and by the time they unfreeze, he has water on the plane. What an absolute cheapskate <laughs> hunk of shit! Because there's no other way you could, for he's three dollars, get a bottle of water on a dude, plane. Dude, he's using science to save money. <laughs> he had to learn science. To Why don't you money? just bring the fucking the fucking hydrogen and oxygen <laughs> molecule on your, your pockets yeah. opposite and mix yeah. them on the yeah. fucking plane? Yeah, <laughs> just put a piece of saran wrap over a cup and put it into the window so it heats up and drips water into your fucking cup. Or why don't you just talk over a cup for two minutes? <laughs> what a fucking bum! <laughs> Where I, when we did the uh, I did the tour with Louis last time, he just goes, "Yeah, I, I want to get to Chicago tonight." Would you, I'm just getting a plane, and he just got a plane. Just got a plane. Just got a private plane. Uh, we drew, right after the show dro- drove right onto the thing. Got on the plane. What a life. Yeah. And just you're there. 
You're up, you're down. It was great. You just pull right in, go right to the hotel. Nobody checks you. No. Nobody says anything. I to couldn't you. believe it. Like we yeah, just literally no walked security. in right up to the plane. Yeah. Oh, it was like bags were loaded. It couldn't have been nicer. Yeah, they, they don't. Not worried no about security. check. Not worried about overhead. Not wait. Is that about... dinosaur? There's no dinosaur barbecue in Austin. No. Oh, so maybe it was another, maybe he's a birthday dinosaur I thought, by mistake. Okay. I thought dinosaur barbecue was weird because this is Syracuse company. Well, some, yeah, yeah. Somebody said it. What, whatever it was, it was a big Austin barbecue a place. Whatever it was. Oh, okay. I, so it wasn't Dino. Maybe not. No, it was might have been my mistake or they. I think somebody said it, uh, but it was it, it was sure the was best barbecue. Ever. When sure Dane did the tour, the big arena tour, he did uh, G fours and G fives, and there was only three of us. So wow. We, we, I remember we one night we went to McDonald's and just got. Seven thousand dollars worth of McDonald's each, and just went to the plane. It was uh, me, him, and Barry Katz on the plane on an I think a sixteen person plane, and we awesome. just watched King Kong, and then we both like had beds. Was we it just, paradise, dude? It was it was fucking nuts. That's what I mean. Like you would want that plane to land. Well, That's it was hard necessary for three people. Like the plane we were on was perfect for like four oh, people, five people. It was a hundred percent unnecessary. Wow, everything was that. The, the luxury. Every, it was luxury. But here's the problem: the day the tour ended, I had to go back to New York, and I was in Zone Four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, just, just Zone Four, waiting, panicking about overhead space. Man, that's, <laughs> being a comic, that's the uh, that's got to be the toughest part. Like when Not Sagal, for Dane. Sa, no, <laughs> but when Sagalo was in here and talking about opening for Theo at the Wilbur for a week and just being like, "This is great. This is the way it's supposed to be." And then coming home to play for six people at a yeah. room here in yeah. New York, and it's like, "Yep, have, back to this now." Yeah, Feeny bumps him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> touring with somebody who's really selling a lot is great because you just kind of hang out and enjoy great crowds. No pressure. No pressure for ticket sales. Nothing. Mm. No pressure. You just go around, go into your little room. You get whatever little nuts or vitamin water you ask for. They got nuts. Yeah, when then you want real food, you go to their dressing room. It's just a buffet of shit that they didn't even. They're gonna pay if yeah. you go out. Maybe Franklin. Try. I don't remember. It was it whatever it was. Well, let's not get carried away. They don't always pay when you go to dinner. <laughs> Sometimes they forget. You know. What? They do. Anyways, I never uh, had. I always pay for the opening acts to go to dinner. If I'm if we're out. Oh, I do. Yeah, I do too. And I've there are others Dice. that don't always. Dice took us out everywhere. The first time I ate at Morton's with it, Andrew. All these great restaurants, five star restaurants. Did we yeah. have a side for free? Please. <laughs> Hi, did you? Did you want the picture? Dice's baby talk is the funniest. It's thing. nothing. It's, it's the. Stupid. It's the best. It's the best social media. Can, it, it really can, is. Can Since we, Colin. Can we take the switch? This was just embarrassing. Us? Oh, this is great. This is just embarrassing. This is great. Travis, don't be selfish with it. Let I us refresh it. it because I, it's, it's being selfish. How's it going? Um. Are you from the Jim Norton Space Rocket Project? Like, <laughs> I'm wearing the orange. I'm not, sir. <laughs> huh. That's so weird, because he's supposed to be in the orange. <laughs> oh, I love those. The mountain. What is it? The, the Bernese? Uh, like your dogs. <laughs> They're nice. They're so small. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Oh, I love that he's that he's here. That he's yeah, in New York. I, I, just I do bothering too. Bothering people, just annoying everybody. Yeah. I wish Dice would come in here. I do too. I How come he won't come in? No reason. I mean, it's probably just getting up in the morning. He's probably just he doesn't have to. Uh, well, that's awesome. I'm glad that you had a good time. I, it's, it was just fun hanging. It, it was like going into another comedy scene other than New York. And just being and just seeing comics hang and interact, it was just fun. Did you ever move there? I, you know, I like here, but if it, it's like you look at it, you're like, eh. Especially because your dollar would go a lot further down. Oh, and here. there's no state tax, no income tax, and it's a right. and it's a fucking great scene down there. Um, and you know that there's other podcasts you could do that could help anything you're working on. Like you know what I mean? Yes. I would be willing to. So it's like not that I want to move there. I don't. But you look at it, you're like. That's an, it's an option. It's nice to look at it and go, wow, that's another option. I don't know if you've uh, just, you know, relationship advice. If, you're, if your lady says, like, hey, how was your trip? Don't tell her it was the best two days of my life. <laughs> well, it was a great two days. Yeah. I did tell her. She was awake when I got home. She was very I got home at, like, uh, we landed at 4.30. And I just went home and slept for an hour, and I didn't want to burn a day off. No, 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 of yeah. course. Plus, come on. 
Bob's here. We're yeah. having fun. I think Mike, you keep touching the microphone. I am now, yeah, but I wasn't oh. before. Oh. I wasn't here yesterday. Oh. No, I was touching it yesterday. <laughs> um, That's great, man. <laughs> yeah, Austin's great. I'm going there for Moon Tower in April. I'm excited. You should go by Joe's Club. It's great. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I would like. I was gonna go last time I did. He was gonna show me, but he he had to go do something or whatever. But yeah, it's uh, it's a scene. It's a definite comedy scene now. Yeah, it's I, a nice to have another place. Like, hey, if things, if I if I decide I want to leave, I can go there. How is it yeah. though? How dangerous? Is it? it was dangerous. Is it, is it getting better? You know that it was weird because Joe List got chased back. I to know, his hotel. but you can see it's Joe List. So. No, absolutely. It's you know, yeah, 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 this is yeah. by the audience. <laughs> 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 He uh, no, I, the, the first time I went to the club, I took an Uber, and they went a different way. And the Uber, like you go, like it's really a good ride, and there's a couple of blocks where you're like, yeah, this is a problem. This is a problem. But the next night, oh, we walked, and when you walk, you can walk in a different way than when you're driving. Yeah. And I was walking. It was a bunch of us, Whitney, and a few of her people, and she and Rodney Dangerfield's ex-wife, Joan, the one who was married to Rodney when he died. I, I've, I've talked to her for an hour last night. What a fucking fascinating. Just That's amazing. Rodney Dangerfield stories from his wife. Wow. Yeah. It was so fucking great. She's 70. She looks like she's 40. Uh, but we all walked and it was no problem. So I guess it was just that one block. That yeah, there is a block. Down. I was out there at the hotel, fancy hotel right on the main street in the morning. And I just heard funk, funk, like some banging. I look across the street. There was five kids on bikes with backpacks throwing buoy knives into a uh, a building that was... Maybe vandalized with all just you know plywood on the window, mm -hmm. just Punks. throwing massive knives into the <laughs> thing, and like some of them were going in, and some were just banging off the thing. And they just grabbed them, pulled them out, put them back in their backpacks, and drove away. It yeah. was the most frightening thing I've ever seen. In my Young life. toughs. Yeah, I mean, I bet it's dangerous, but like to be like, uh, yeah, Austin was dangerous, and now I'm back to the safety of New York City. Well, New York, you know, it's it's weird when you're in a city that you don't know. Like when right. you're yes. you're driving, I, I always thought like, how would this been if I was? I'm sure it would have been fine, but when you're walking, you're driving through that area where you know what an area is when you go through it. You're like, how would this be? How long does this go on for? Is this one block or is this like the next thirteen blocks? Plus, there's always somebody in New York City. There's there's everybody's on the street. There's oh, always yeah. somebody in Those Austin. Quiet. There's a, like the off street is kind of dies. So if it's you and that those people, it's that's it. And there is something too about your neighborhood. Like you go around and you're like, there's plenty of neighborhoods that like, because I'll walk around whenever I go someplace and yeah. get creeped out by stuff that I would never get creeped out by in the neighborhood that I know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Um, I didn't go down the other street. Expensive against... fucking town, by the way. Hotels in Austin. Nuts. Was it? I, I, I did I got lucky. 400 a night. Oh, Jesus. I mean, not even for a good hotel. I stayed in the, it was kind of shitty. Like, the, all the walls, like the wallpaper was peeling off. Like, I had I had to move rooms because one room smelled musty, like water, had water damage. And, and it was 400? It was like three something a night. Yeah, Sheesh. 380 a night or something like that. I got a good, I didn't have to pay for my room, so I don't know how much it was. I got lucky. It was expensive, guy. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a decent hotel. Where's yeah. the hotel? I shouldn't say. No, go. I mean, because because you know, in case anybody's looking for a spot to stay, yeah. I, I, it, was, it was the Four Seasons. It's very cozy. Oh, uh, you stayed at the Four Seasons and flew private. It's very. Cozy. I hate the Four Seasons. Do you really? I hate it. I did too. All that twenty-four hour room service. Yeah, I treat hate you with respectful. Hate yes, sir. No, sir. I like a boutique hotel. I like a boutique cool hotel. I don't like boutique hotels. That I, I, I just never. I wish I. You know, I say itch a lot. I'm very itchy in the what? sheets. I don't. I, I don't like, like a, a boutique hotel. I love a boutique hotel. <laughs> a little like coffee it. shop, a little weird gym, it's nice room. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little weird, you know, like the rooms are different. Like the the, no, the, the like Four that. Seasons is just fucking tan everything. Luxury. It's luxury. Every, it's a gentleman's a, esta a comfort uh, establishment. It's shitty it is earth, luxury. It's just shitty earth tones and like antique nice furniture. I hate fucking antique furniture. You don't furniture. like a Ritz? A nice comfortable? No. Oh. No way. Boutique hotels, I don't know why I always like, feel like a boutique hotel. Like I stayed in one New Year's Eve. There was one in, um, where was I? Up in uh, like Nyack. And there's always something where it looks like it was an old, it was an old warehouse, and then they make it this hotel. And there's always something which fucking sucks about it. That's that's like this is all window dressing. I always feel like it's taking something shitty and dressing it up to look cool. Definitely, especially in New York, boutique hotels are the are the worst in the city because they take like awful buildings and they just kind of dress them up. 
Well, in New York, I think, but not so outside tiny. of New York. Like in Chicago, the Lincoln, that's a fucking great, it's an old building, and they just redid all, every room's different. I go for the four seasons. They got a little yeah. bakery, a, uh, it's a unique little bakery in the lobby. 24-hour room service? Fucking great. 24, something like that's fine, but like, like the, the, what a lot of times boutique hotels would do this, like I, they had the fucking, this is the one in Nyack, you open the bathroom door, but it's hanging on something, and it's it slides. A, it's a like barn a, door. Yeah. I fucking. That's what I have in my house. Okay, well, I don't like them because it fucking came <laughs> off the hinge when I was going to shit. Can I be honest? I hate them, too. I fucking hate them. Fucking dumb Dawn put them on the bathrooms. So, oh, you walk by a bathroom, you have a guest, you can kind of peek in and see someone take a shit. Dude, you I was so peek. angry, and this thing came off the hinge, and I had a fucking log brewing, <laughs> and I had to fucking get get the door and prop it up. We had to have maintenance come up, and then off to the side, there's like a little uncomfortable couch with a cow rawhide pattern. They're trying too hard to look chic and slick, and like when you're in the Ritz or, or if you, uh, uh, even a Marriott, I love Marriott. It's are like great. be comfortable, motherfucker. I want comfort. I, I just want to relax. The only hotel that I liked was the Encore. That was the greatest hotel I've ever stayed in. The Wynn? Vegas. The Wynn. The Encore. Next to it, the uh, Wynn and Encore. This yeah, I, I don't, same hotel. Whichever one we stayed in was amazing. That's, it was that's the, the best one I've ever stayed in. Yeah. Best hotel I've ever stayed. I in. think so too. It's the best. I would live there. If I was a millionaire, I would just I would live there. They used to put sick. me up at the Montage in Beverly Hills occasionally uh, when I would do the Tonight Show. They had like, an NBC had a deal there. It's changed now. It's like it's all modern and they fucked it up. It was, but it was like that old man chic. Like I like old man comfort. I like modern. I like modern you shit. Yeah, yeah, I like when you go in and there's a TV in the mirror and in the bathroom and the, the, the you got the wand the shower head and the wand maybe a seat that doesn't sound boutique anymore I like it I like when you can see in the room from the shower cuz they instead of a wall they put a piece of glass You like a sex room I like a sex swing <laughs> Yeah yeah like you like a to swing have, and I like, like have, stuff in my butt You like staying at a sex hotel <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute you just open me up Yeah that is that the encore Yeah, yeah it's, it's an that, amazing hotel The night that's the nicest room I've ever stayed in and it might be Maybe yeah. I do like four seasons <laughs> Dude, yeah, there's just course, comfortable. Way better. Look at that, though. Gentlemanly. Look at that. Gentlemanly. A gentleman is here. Dependable. A dependable Consistent. hotel that cares about you being comfortable. I like, it's always great when I like the Grafton That's Hotel, the like on Sunset. It's an old uh, bungalow hotel from back in the day that they redid. It's got a. Is there anything better than checking into a hotel and they ask, do you want to use the credit card on file and it's not your credit card? And you no. go, That's exactly the credit card I'd like to use. I'll tell you the best hotel I ever stayed in. I think my favorite. Uh, and I only did it one time for a weekend. It was expensive, but just like it was like a thing I wanted to do. Yeah. The Bel Air Hotel in Los Angeles. Have you ever stayed at the Bel Air Hotel? No, but I visited you there. The Bel Air uh, Hotel? Bel Air. Hey. <laughs> the Bel Air. That's probably the best one. The best hotel I ever stayed in was in... You uh, visited me in the Bel Air? Yeah. Nice. I remember just going. I The... the um, uh, what is it, the Wardorf? Waldorf? Waldorf. How do you say it? Waldorf. How do you say it? Waldorf. How do you say it? Waldorf. Waldorf. The Waldorf. The Waldorf Astoria. In Amsterdam. Oh. The when you walk in, they have a chocolatier on staff, and they have a little a thing Ooh, of bees, land of chocolate. chocolate bees. It looks like bees, and it's made of chocolate. And there's honey, local honey inside. Oh. And, and they just hand you one. They're like, sir, would you like a chocolate bee? Matter of fact, I would. I and would then they go. That. I would love that. They come over with a, a thing of four, looks like big cologne bottles. And you smell them. And the one you like the best is yeah. how your room will smell the whole time you're there. That's what hotel sad. is that? The Wardorf. Waldorf. Okay. Waldorf. They're redoing the Waldorf here where they're like making them into condos or something. I don't know if it's going to be a hotel or not, but it's been closed for like three years. They're like making it a residence. I mean, I had a, a it looked like an apartment. My, yeah. my, I, I mean, it was amazing. I got it, blown on the wall. Look at that. I took my Sabbath picture there. It's the best place in the country. Look at that. Look, what it's a, right on the, ca- it's right on the canal. full of memories. <laughs> that was it's my like room. That's my room. of a haunted hotel. That was my room right there. That's nice. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's so yeah, nice. Yeah, it's got a swing with a hole in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Just has a hole in the window. Just old guys come up and I suck them off. <laughs> Yeah. First floor, please. <laughs> How's doing the bonfire? I haven't even talked to you about it. Yeah, well, that was the other. That's the other big news, right? Bob Kelly. Yes. Now joins the channel full time officially. You should have seen this guy. He walked in this morning with an ID card. Got your building ID. Good Bob for you. Kelly is part of the family. Yep. The new co-host of the bonfire. He uh, politicked Dan Soder out of the seat. 
Yeah. And he is yeah. now co Dad, you got billions. What are you doing? <laughs> dude, you got more talent in your little pinky, dude. What are you doing? You're wasting it, dude. <laughs> Bob Kelly and Big J Okerson every yep. week at 5 p.m., right? Yeah. It's, every day at 5 p.m. here on the channel. It's 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 just, you know, it's easy. It's the best. That's Jay, great. Jay, I mean, literally, you look up and you're like, we're done. I'm like, what? It's two hours. Yeah. Five to seven. Yeah. And Jay and Dan, both when you go on, you can just talk about anything and just all of a sudden the show's over. It's just a silly two hours of, of just fun. So. That's a perfect time for comics too. Yeah. Five to seven, because you got drive time, afternoon drive time, you sleep as late as you want, yeah. you go out to spots as late as you want right after that. that that's yeah, the perfect time for well, fucking Yeah, degrees. and plus the crew too they put together is uh, Jacob, Black Lou, Lou, Christine. It's just, they're fucking great. They're really good. I mean, it's good as this crew you guys put together. I mean, oh, that's very kind. I mean, I it is. I mean, without these guys, who are you? Same. Yeah, oh, exactly. Same. It's better, actually. Same. Better. Yeah, better. probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could definitely do some trades. I, well, I, I'd well, love to get Lou over here. Yeah. No, it's fun, man. It's 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 so funny because Voss called me up to congratulate me, and he's always got to, you know, he's all, it's always got to be about him. Of course. <laughs> no. Uh, it always goes to It's an him. illness. It's sickening. He goes, uh, congratulations. That's nice. You You got my dream. That's his dream? <laughs> That's what he said. Oh. You have my dream. You got my dream job. I was like, oh, but good for you. I'm happy for you. We he should... wanted to host a Doesn't bonfire sound... with No, he Jay. wants his own show. He wants his own show. He has Sirius. his own show with Bonnie. On Sirius. Oh. Why does he want to be Why? on Sirius? Because it's his dream. Okay. Oh, come on, guys. We're coming in. Why do you think? It's just... You know, is it shit. that he wants to do radio? He wants to have a steady thing. I don't thing. fucking know. Yeah. I just How that's... could this be his dream, though? He's a comedian. Wouldn't yeah. his dream to be to do comedy? I think yeah. he, I think he's. I think Voss is looking for a ripcord. Right. Where he can get a... He, he Like, his dream is to get like something like Hope this. Hope he thinks he finds one, but it's a noose. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he goes to pull it and it doesn't work. <laughs> he... he, he uh, <laughs> I don't. I think Voss. You know, look, man. I get it. Steady a, income doesn't yeah. have to. Yeah. I hope okay. Voss. You know what Voss should get a residency in Vegas at a little casino where oh. he's the Don Rickles. He can just go up. His crowd work has never been better. Better. So you go good. up and do his shit. Smash the crowd. They come in. If somebody was smart, they would hire him at like the Plaza, somewhere to do a show three nights a week. Where he's got a residency, he can move it. I want to make people unhappy, dude. I watched him. <laughs> yeah, no, he, his wait, friends and family he does. Wait, but the crowds he he's makes funny, happy. Yes. But he makes people who are vacationing unhappy. He's hilarious. He one night of just seeing him uh, from the stage. He accused a waitress of having scoliosis. <laughs> he found a couple on a first date. On, from a, like a Tinder date and ruined it for the guy. Just just completely ruined yeah. it. And then I watched him. You should have seen him. He couldn't help himself. In the in the green room, there was a photographer. And he was like, hey, hey, Rich, do you mind if I just shoot a couple more shots of you? And Rich, this is not a comedian. Like, this isn't a riff guy. He's just like, he's a straight photographer who's brought in. And Rich goes, yeah, I hope you shoot yourself in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, the guy, and I'm sitting there laughing because it's so inappropriate. Yes. And the photographer goes, oh, who did that for me? Uh, <laughs> and Rich is just smiling, going, yeah, yeah. And it was, the guy wasn't laughing. Yeah. I'm sitting there crying. You know what Rich is? He's a charmless clod. <laughs> He He's really a is. Clod. Yeah, he has a small talk of a prison guard. <laughs> Stinks. But he would be great doing crowd work in Vegas, Dude, just insulting people. I'm telling you, someone that should book absolute, him that, there. Yeah, that's the picture they're going to show in Vosh dies. Him <laughs> sitting there, kind of smiling on a chair. Mm -hmm. There's an audience. You tell he's just tickled. He's pleased as punch with himself. Yeah. He's just said something shitty, and he's pleased with himself. I could tell he was doing stuff up there to make me giggle. He was saying mean uh, things to because he knew I, I'd be in the back giggling. He has to call Bonnie right when he's done to tell her how good he is. He called Bonnie from the stage. No. Yeah. He calls me from the stage sometimes. Too. <laughs> he, I, I'm I like, know where I'm he's like, calling what, from. What cl what half sold club are you at right now? <laughs> you I, just hear an echo in the background from the crowd. <laughs> I never. Uh, well, you know, you can hear like the the sound of a register opening yeah. as people are getting their refunds. Yeah, yeah somebody's getting a pina colada. <laughs> yeah, no, I never pick up. 
I always pick up. Do you? Always. Yeah. I mean, as we get older, I do, because you never know, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah always pick up for Voss, because yeah. you know he's somewhere, especially between the Fridays and Saturday nights, and with him sometimes Wednesdays, uh -huh. <laughs> when yeah. <it> gig nights. <laughs> <laughs> I'm him Wednesday through Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hope he gets a residency. I hope he... He should leave Bonnie alone. In Florida. <laughs> He, there's no Florida is where he'll get his residency. W at w <laughs> He's an old man. Right. They're old people. He'll do that. He's going to get his residency there. I don't get there. to play golf. Where's he going to yeah. get a residency in Florida? Just some hospice. <laughs> like to, to, make, <laughs> to, to get people accepting the fact that like I you can either stay here and deal with this every week uh -huh. or you can just die yeah. peacefully yeah. with dignity. <laughs> yeah. Some guy doesn't laugh. I hope your oxygen blows up, you, yeah. you old fucking coot. Yeah. <laughs> Helen, I hey, you still wearing diapers? And he like. Yeah. Blow all their medical yeah. secrets. Yeah. I was with the other day. She shit her pants. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he's so he, you yeah. took his dream job. B Bonnie yeah. Bonnie and Raina come in to visit him. Yeah. Hey. Dad? <laughs> He'll have to change his jokes. I owe my granddaughter money for Girl Scout cookies sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking Voss, man. He's still doing it, though. Yep. Six, look at him. He's 65? 66? I mean, I don't think but, that he would like this. I don't remember. I'm he 50, says it. Yeah, yeah I, No, 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 but I mean, like, the way you're phrasing it is, like, at his old age, the fact that he's still doing it is, like, no, I don't I'm know. Saying, I'm saying like, he's that ill, but look at him. That's pretty, you, that's pretty nuts. Here's where, here's where he wouldn't like 65. it. 65. I think that, that you coming from this place now. No, I'm, but he's old. Right, like that's you, old, and you're on the throne, right? Because uh, you have the dream job. I'm just saying he's, and you're going like, but look at look at the old man still yeah. doing. No, it. yeah, hey, absolutely. Hey, hey, good for him, buddy. Good he, for him. Look at that. Looks good, doesn't? Listen, it? yeah. Meanwhile, you have the. He dream can get job. us cheaper yeah. tickets to movies. Do you understand that? Like, ARP, dude. He can get. He's literally can get the buffet, the special meals for old people. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, dude, yeah. he's he's yeah. that he's retiring age. He can get Social Security, I pre right? Sixty five. He might be able to, yeah. That's nuts. He can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I mean, for you to be complimenting yeah, him no, I from know. your position I of power. I understand what you're you know doing. What I mean? right that is my dream job. Saying, look at the old coot still go. Yeah, hey, I'm proud of him for just doing that. Good for you. I, Get oh, up no. and doing it. Uh -huh, yeah, I know what you're doing. Yep, 100%. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. He's old and should be home chilling out a little bit. Right. Every weekend on the road. Right. Every weekend yeah, out there. Golfing. Leave, leave the dream jobs to the guys like you. Am I right? And you. And you. Appreciate you're, that. You're sitting right there too, yes. Appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, you snatched his job right out from, you know how happy you'd be with just sitting here with Jim every morning? You know how sad Jim would be? The Jim is <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. You know how yeah. sad the audience would be? <laughs> For a week. Then it would get very toxic. Oh. You think it would? Yeah. Oh, could you imagine how great it would be if Rich and Jim did a show together and they started getting into like real fights? <sighs> v and Voss, can, like, you can't really stay that. He Voss is not a big grudge holder though. Like, if you make up, you're you're good. Like, if you make up with Rich over an argument, it's done. Yeah, but you know, you'd like get into real fights and then you make up, but then you get into more real fights. <sighs> Maybe I don't know because it's every day. Maybe, yeah, it's three hours. It is a long time. Like, it's very hard. To, I've done it with people I didn't like, but, like, not for a crazy long. When? Um, <laughs> I didn't like Anthony. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he is tough. But you know what I mean? Like, it, it's hard when you're creatively collaborating because you're looking at each other. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's very tough to do for long, I, you know, without... It, it, it's spilling over because you can't. You, you, it's not like an office job where you're just fucking both. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. You like you have to not only talk to each other, you have to create something in the moment and engage with each other. It's, yeah. it's, it's you have to be getting along for it to be decent. I think. But then again, a lot of guys don't, and it still works. Yeah, I mean, I, I would the majority of radio partnerships like that's always the story, especially the successful ones. It's always like no, they hated each other for almost the entire run. It's weird when it's that weird. happens. Like when you go to that like, Mike and the Mad Dog uh, thirty for thirty was amazing because it was it was like explaining how toxic it was. Although this is kind of a Francesa move that you pulled when when uh, when Mike was on vacation, so Mad Dog was going to do the show by himself, so he real quick changed the intro music because <laughs> he's so they're both so petty. He real quick changed the intro music. 
So it just said, it's the mad dog instead of Mike and the mad dog. And so he started his show just like not even acknowledging Mike. Mm. Just like, this is the mad dog show, blah, blah, blah. Francesa immediately cut his vacation short. And the next day was home and walked right into the radio studio and sat down in his chair to be like, well, try to pull that shit again. I'm back. I'm not going on vacation. That was Mad Dog being a dick, but Francesca is just such a fat baby. <laughs> He's such a you fat a fucking fat baby. baby. I just wanted to come back because I got a ride, and I'm like, I would be shitty no, if I, I came yeah, home. Uh, we, had a, we did have to change this new song we had. What was it? There it was, was a jingle prepared. Yeah, it was a jingle. Yeah, it was. It was a, the song was kind of like oh. all about Bob taking everybody's show it serious. <laughs> Let's hear it. Yeah. I would love to hear it. Bob, 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 Bobby is doing it again. Bob, Bob, Bobby, <laughs> he's fucking all his friends. Bob, Bob, Bobby <laughs> is here for you today. Bobby <laughs> show. Yeah, that's how it went. That was. I, I, I actually like. And it. Sam. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I, I, yeah. I get in where I fit in, you know? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, wherever there's a spot. Francesca cut his vacation. What a fucking He cut his vacation after bag. one day. It's the worst. After one day, because he heard Ugh. Mad Dog up to tricks, and he said, no, 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 no. There you go. That's my show, dog. <laughs> but, he, but he didn't even talk to him. Fucking... He didn't even talk to him. He just walked in, like, right before the show. I think it's easier to talk about sports, by the way, than, like, when you're just trying to talk about... True. Sports are, like... A, they can be entertaining. They can be funny, but it's when you're trying to be funny or it's it's harder. Yeah, because sports talk about have stats, stats yeah, yeah, numbers. Stats. I fucking hate stats. I, by the, the way, fucking worst. I hate when you're in a room. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a quarterback. Oh, do they? Fucking hate. fuck you. I hate fuck when the guy them. goes, "Hey, what do you think about your uh, new running back this year?" I fuck off. Exactly. I don't listen. Fucking to, spine breaks. Don't watch the Patriots until the playoffs. <laughs> now that Brady's gonna fuck them. <laughs> I just found my Tom Brady picture. It was a good one. You got a Brady picture? I did. Yeah. A Patriot. Patriots or Tampa Bay? Patriots. Oh. And I got him to sign a ball. I, I wouldn't do that now, but I was there, and I knew him and Aaron Rodgers were going to be there. Jeez. Got them both to sign a ball. I got nothing. I, I met him once with uh, Jimmy Wahlberg, and I took the picture, and I panicked, and I he froze. Take the picture. And then he walked away, and I didn't get my picture with him. Because oh. I panic with real, you know how I am with no, famous people. No, but I mean, it's, it's just, can I have a picture? Of I don't thing? get, you're cool and collective. I guess so. Yeah. You're on a mission. Yeah, you have a mission. When you're around famous people, it's happening, whether they like it or not. I panic. I try to be one. Hey, man, I'm, I'm just one of the guys. I'm not See, you. I know who I am. That's the difference. I know that I'm not on their level. Yeah, Jim is not I on I know a... who I am, too. Right. Later that night at the hotel, <laughs> I'm fucking jerked off. I have nothing else. <laughs> just fucking trying to call Donna. She's not picking up. Jim is not on a quest to be accepted. He's not on a quest to be a friend. He's not on a quest to be like, oh, maybe they'll like I'm be like, into this. He's like, no, 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 no. I don't care if they hate me. Yeah. We're taking a picture. I, I like you. I know I'm not on your level. May I have a picture? Yes, you, even if I'm nice to you, we're not gonna, you're not going to want to be my friend. No. <laughs> I did take one with, with uh, Scarmucci, but... Uh, How'd it go? It was fine. It was fine. Yeah, we just chatted for him, and he was very nice. I, I was... But I, I fucked up a little because... We were gonna. He gave me his number. Like he just. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, Scaramucci. Like he should be taking does a he picture know, with does you. Does he know? Does he know who you are? I don't know if he did or not. He didn't seem to, but I didn't care. I, mean, I, I never. How, why did you get his number? I I uh, I said to him like, I, "You're Anthony, right?" Like as we landed, and he goes, "Yeah." And I go, "Oh, okay." And he asked what I was doing in town. He goes, "Oh, you're a comic." So we we're just talking. Did I, you I Google him on the plane? No, oh, okay, I mean, I thought knew. so. I asked him just Anthony. You know why? Because I heard someone on the earlier on the flight call him. Like moochers, I'm like ah, I know that's that's that. Yeah. It was driving me crazy. Um, and when we took a, a picture, he put his hand up to shake, like 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 this. <laughs> but then I put it like a regular, <laughs> and then I fucked it up, and we had to do it. <laughs> I, your little baby bird, I claw fucked up. Stuck on. <laughs> and then he asked me for the picture. He goes, "Yeah, I'll, you, I'll give him my number. You can just send it to me." But I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't type. And he just took my uh, phone. He goes, "Let me do it. Let me do it." So he uh, took the phone uh, because I couldn't yeah. see. Uh, I couldn't see. Thank God you flew private on the way home yeah. because you embarrassed yourself in public. I do. I'm very embarrassed. Did another man guy. take your phone? Here, I didn't let me mind. put it in. And there's a couple things he objected to, so I deleted them. <laughs> <laughs> and I, oh, yeah, it reminded me of the time I put my Rick Ross picture out here, and we shook hands and it's I have the fucking the little whitest man hands no. being it's so I look like I have palsy hand let me see I, I, I've had to find the picture I don't know if I have it on my phone or my hard drive at home but I, I was it's so embarrassing my with Rick Ross the, with, picture with the boss or yeah. the other the, Rick Ross you look like you were throwing him. gang signs 
No, he just grabbed me a certain way, but he's got a big hand, and my hand was like, it, it, it looks like he, uh, like he's uh, like I'm a, a child in a hospital. <laughs> if you zoomed in on our hands, like, oh, this is a sick boy with some sort of a <laughs> deformity, and the rapper came <laughs> to take a picture with him. To make a wish? And Yeah, and look, the little fella's trying to shake. <laughs> yeah. So you like uh, coming in and doing this every day now? I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's fun. It's easy. Right. I mean, I'm stepping in. They already built this whole thing. So That's it's, true. You just turn the mics on. There's a sheet of stuff you really don't get to usually. If you want it, it's You get there. a sheet of stuff? Yeah, there's a sheet nice. of stuff that you might talk about. We but don't we, get it. We don't, no. we don't really get to that. We don't get a sheet of stuff. You don't get a sheet of stuff? We don't have Lou. Oh, Lou, Lou is good. And then as you're talking really about stuff, like, <laughs> like you'd be like, oh, dude, she sounded like a horse. All of a sudden... Uh, we don't have yeah. sound effects. No, I don't know. I mean, as good as as good as Stern, like that fat Lou. No, Lou, Lou is he's fast. incredible. I mean, he's incredible. Oh, we were doing something effect. yesterday. He used to do Brewer Show way back in the day. Yeah. He's always like that's his skill. I don't set. know if I would like like on Kill Tony. Red Band does it very well. Like they'll throw in all these band sound. Like it's really well done. It's. I don't funny. know if I would like that though. No, like he's sound a, effects. We can Lou's try to start doing like Foley work. Uh, Troy can barely answer the phone. It was very funny. It, he know. does it in a very funny way. You, no you, why, it's, oh, okay. you laugh. It's, <laughs> like, it's part of the joke. It's, it's part not, of the joke. Okay. Yeah. Like <laughs> it's it's very funny. And they renamed the show the Bond Fire. No, that's nice. No, they did not. The Bond Fire. The it's Bond. The, it's the, the Bob Fire. No, because it says on the phone screen that you told a story on the Bond Fire. On the Bond Fire. Did I say Bond? You didn't know that whoever wrote the phone screen wrote oh, yeah, spelled it with a D. Bond, you wrote fire. Bond I, I call fire. it the Bob Fire now. You do because I'm just lighting a fire under that audience every day. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I changed started my started with a so. chip, went <laughs> into the Southern guy. <laughs> oh, that's my thing, Southern yeah. chip. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not spelled with a D then. Bond Fire. Who spelled it with it? Who did that? I don't know. Whoever wrote it on the phone. <laughs> Bonfire. Yeah. That would never it, happen over that crew. Did you think it was that? That's how it was. No, I just wrote it fast and then added a letter. Do you have Gramercy? Gramercy will correct all your problems. What's Gramercy? Oh, Gramercy is the best. It goes on your phone, so when you text, yeah, it corrects everything and then tells you to hey, choose another word. That one's not that good. Let's say like advanced autocorrect. I would yeah. hate that. It's awesome. Oh, you wouldn't I, like that. No, my fucking dumb phone. Telling me how to communicate, it becomes smarter. I hate. I resent my email. I know you can turn the option off. I'm just lazy, but when I'm writing, like, so do you want to? And then it finishes. Call me back. Like when it finishes. Oh, Gmail does that. Go yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck yourself. Don't assume. You know, I, I'll, I'll literally. I'm passive aggressive with my thing. I'll just stop it and send it. Oh, if I'm writing an email with Gramercy, it will. You go through it at Probably the end, really and it will. That way. It will put all your <laughs> punctuation, unbelievable, and it tells you, hey, won't you? Reword the sentence. It's not. It's not really that good. You can do better. You're excited about the incoming AI. Is that Chat? Uh, what's chat it? GPT. G, 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 GPT. GPT. I'm not. I'm not about that. I don't like that. I think that's going like to. That's going to take a lot of people's careers away. That's going to take. That's going to take over a lot of shit. And you. And it's going to be. I, I'm scared of the AI stuff. You that, are. Yeah. The fact that some fat guy in the woods can be an artist. And just make holy shit artwork is crazy to me. Just type it into a computer and then it shits it out. And I mean, it's it's going to be convenient for everybody. But it, I mean, it scares me that you can. I mean, they can take your voice and just have you do a radio show without you. I mean, they could, but, but they the, wouldn't have my sardonic wit and the creativity that <laughs> it mean, takes. The cunty twang that you have. Yeah. So it's different ways of saying sure. the same thing, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> your your curt cuntiness that you sometimes <laughs> unveil upon us. They will know. figure that out too. Like those little weird things that make a person a person interesting or like different or the whatever it is that makes your thoughts. Yeah, but you don't need weather, you won't need a weather person. Just get a weather person's voice. Ah, you for those don't radio, need one now though. Need you have my now. fucking phone. I don't. Yeah, watch but I'm saying for radio. Weather. I'm saying for radio. Yeah. Did so you when they have a guy come in, all right, today the trap. They can just have a. An AI person do that job. I prefer a... AI. I fucking hate the weather people. You do. Their whole fucking job. They, they, they work out six days a week. They have fake teeth. And what they do, you can just look out the window for. Sam Champion is pretty pissed to hear that. Well, I'm a Sam Champion guy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Not Champion. Sam Champion. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like a lot of these you keep jobs. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you keep Champion, one guy. You keep him. And all AI is based on that one. Everybody, Sam, everybody can be Sam Champion. Sam gets, Champion's everywhere. He gets paid a stipend. There, there's a, 
I think there's like a, a, a radio format that they're trying out in markets called Radio GPT, where they put they use AI to do radio to yeah. just. But I mean, that's to be expected when you overly format radio to the point that anybody could do it. Right, you're just following the format. Why not get an AI to do They're it? They're just replacing guys but with you, voice tracking, right? But you know, you can have they can have conversations with other AI. Yeah, like they'll be I able mean, to go, hey, what'd you do? Well, this morning traffic was a little nuts, and but it's not coming from like it's a weird. It, it's coming from just, and I guess there's I don't, a hollowness. To what it. makes us unique in the way? I mean, I don't know the answer to it. Like, but what makes people unique in the way? It's a spontaneous thing firing that makes you ask certain questions like what is it about like makes me curious about you as opposed to just Nothing. saying words <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah that's what it is like i'm curious as to how your day was Th they're asking just because it was written in that that's what you ask as opposed to a, a genuine curiosity whatever they, they don't you, have curiosity yeah, but the fact that they have something that works right now and in five years it's going to be even that much better yeah the computer now the computers that we have now like no ever no chess person will ever beat that computer ever like it's so advanced and it's getting so fast that it, it's going to be outrageous for us that we're th these creative jobs that people do yes there are like this show you guys are unique but there's Thanks. a lot of shows you. that you know they just need somebody there to you know go and then the computer will play the song everything will be automated maybe and they AI. shouldn't be so garbage well it's not that they're garbage they just don't they don't need it. They need a little fun, a little wit, and Banter. then play a song, and then give the weather, give the traffic. I would love to hear Chat GPT radio show and just see what that's like. They got it. Yeah, I mean, also- I bet it's hilarious. Probably, probably, probably pretty good. Yeah. But what also, if it, like- What if it was fucking awesome? Wouldn't it be funny if it was really, if it was really racist and like edgy and like fucking satellite well, in 2007? Am I crazy? Didn't, didn't they kind of go there? Didn't like some of the chat thing- The chat, chat GPT is having problems they that went, there is. They went racist. Like it one of the AIs just went totally racist, which I forget which one it was, but it-, it, it was the it, Seinfeld thing. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. Seinfeld, they, they create, because like- the way the GPT stuff works is it just intakes everything from the internet, right? So Seinfeld, there was a there was a, an AI Seinfeld show that was on Twitch, and eventually AI Seinfeld just started making transphobic, homophobic, racist comments that weren't even jokes. Yeah. yeah. And they were like, they canceled AI Seinfeld. That's a shame. Because it was like, we can't, we can't take this further. But <laughs> yeah. you know, there is something to like, Live radio shows like this where it's just talking or stand-up comedy or anything that's live and in the moment like that, part of the appeal, the Chris Rock special, part of the appeal is that because it's live, people could fuck up. Like there is somewhere and, in the back and, of your and, mind you're listening. Did. Right, right, you fuck he up a joke He did make a mistake, something. yeah. Dude, he fucked up a joke. Yeah, Big but, joke. And then he went back joke. and did it and then went and re... Didn't they take it out of the... Uh, edited? It's, it's edited. Oh, yeah. they did it? They, well, it actually looks God. better now? It does wait, look better. Wait a minute. They took it out... Because I watched it on Netflix the next day and no, two they, days a later. No, a week later. Like oh. this weekend, they... It's been edited. It's Thank been God, edited. dude. That really bothered me that they left it in the next day. Me too. I figured they'd edit it immediately. Maybe it's, yeah, who knows? Maybe he, was, maybe he was up in the air with, hey, it's a live, imperfect thing, and then he's like, fuck it's, it. Dude, it took me the fuck out when he went... Yeah, but first of all, number one, the joke, the the movie. What was the movie? The the. Well, he was trying to make a joke the, about what, the movie Concussion. No, but what was the movie he said? Emancipation. So he said, in front of mostly black crowd, he's a black comedian. He said, "Man, thank that, you for clarifying." He goes, "That movie, <laughs> that movie sucked. Emancip was... Emancipation sucked." It's like, dude, and you hear the crowd go, "What, dude? That's a movie about slavery, dude. Yeah. You're saying a, a slavery movie." But the Emancipation Proclamation sucks. Fuck that movie. And, and, and right when he said it, you could see it in his face like, oh shit, I can't I, say I went down a road that I was, wasn't, I wasn't going down this. How did I get here? You can't say Emancipation sucked. That's a, even if he's in it. Well, they also, because there wasn't the material. Yeah. So there wasn't oh, a way to happened, justify the- He yeah. fucked up. People, were like, people in the crowd were like, you could hear like, why would you say that movie sucks? Plus Emancipation wasn't nominated. It wasn't nominated, and it's a movie about slavery, out. which is pretty serious. But he did have emancipation jokes in it that yeah. were funny. Right. But 
And that he, you said you agreed with, by the way. No, I didn't oh, say okay. that. You I did say that. The jokes yeah. are jokes. Before I the show you did, but I you, I, you told me not to tell anybody, but that he said something. Yeah, yeah I got a text from Sam. You just have loose lips. Ugly. Bob, you just have loose lips. I actually got a sure video, did. loose lips drain balls. Yeah, but then when he went back into the joke, it was so uncomfortable. But he was he's so smart as a comic, he knew he was going to edit this. Yeah, he knew because he went back in and did the joke the way it was supposed to be done. Because he said, I fucked up the joke, and he went back. To where well, he was starting to go fucking. He you start, he got he started swearing. Fuck that. Fuck you. That's his brain thinking. What am I gonna do? And then he went back and did the joke. But so like, if AI is doing radio shows and stuff like that, that thing is gone. That Mistake something could thing, fuck yeah. up. Because Unless even they if can it, program it, you can you program some kind of spontaneity where it leaves room for mistakes. But who cares if? A robot makes a mistake. It's not the same as knowing I just heard a person make a mistake because yeah. you know what that feels There's like. There's no satisfaction in watching a robot make a dick out of itself. Aren't That's they, what we're watching for. Yes. Aren't they, didn't they try to pass laws to protect robots? A couple, like a year or something ago. I don't know. I think that's what people are uh, like. You know, the... no. I think they did. I think they actually brought it. Are up. you thinking of Bicentennial Man with Robin Williams? No, yeah, they actually. It's a film. They're trying it's to uh, bring up laws to protect because people are going to have robots as right. girlfriends. Robots and robots' rights. Yeah, it will. Yeah, they're going to have. So. Ro- they're they're going to have to have robots' rights because they're going to have guys are going to have a girl. If you have a, a doll that has AI and that talks to you Just and don't... learns and you're fucking it and it lives with you. But is it sentient? Oh, yeah. That's what's the difference. Oh. And it's not alive. When you that when, pussy, it's not though. alive. I, I, yeah, like a sheep pussy. Hmm. What? Yeah, that's <laughs> supposed to be very realistic. Like Whoa, human you pussy. like that? Oh. I've never felt one, but I hear they feel like a woman's vagina. You'd like to try it? How do you know? <laughs> 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 well, you know, <laughs> I've swam in that pool for many years, but one time you get out, you dip your toes somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, a, a robot, a sec- like a that what was it movie her, her. I mean, that was pretty fucking wild with Joaquin, and they're close to that now, right? I mean, really close to that. Yeah, and you could have any voice you want. You could take her voice, well, put it in the AI, and it will re- it will be her. You ever tried dealing with a fucking chat? Uh, like when you want to get something done uh, with eBay or whatever, an automatic chat, they're not that close to this. They, they can't even figure out how to get a fucking a bot to chat with you where it feels like you're talking to something. It's the, that's the, the just biggest really cunt a, experience. Yeah, but that's just really a dumb Indian lady that's just not responding quickly. Don't, that's not an AI dummy. That's a real shithead. <laughs> that would be really funny if yeah. it was a human being. Yeah, oh, AI. they're the worst. You sound like an idiotic robot. Can I help you? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, yeah. I, yeah, I don't think we're as close as people think we are because I think there is, uh, I think that last step is a huge step to make it actually feel. They can't do it with those with the little chats like where you're trying to, or when you're trying to tell them your problem on the phone and they just don't, and, just, and there's only so many options, so many options. Th- but there are going to be like I, incels will fall in love with robots super easy and then kill them. <laughs> yeah, they will. Because even the robot can't stand them. Yeah. You seen that movie, Megan? It's a creepy movie, but I would definitely get one. Hundred percent. Of course one. you would. Oh, dude, I got this doll that plays piano. I, whatever I almost, you want. <laughs> I almost bought the little dog. They have a robot dog uh-huh. that patrols your house. It's security when you leave. Anybody comes, it just the video camera goes on and it films and like, then it calls you and oh. you can talk through the dog. That's not real though. I wish that was real. It is real. They don't have that. Yeah, they do. You want that? You bet I do. They have it. <laughs> I'm sick of setting up my ring cameras whenever I leave. Yeah, they have. It. I love my rim ca- rim I, cameras. I rim cameras. That's what you love. I, rim, I love a rim <laughs> rim job. I love my. I have my ring ring cameras up in New Hampshire on the solar. No, no electricity. That's sick. Hundred percent. That's sick. Since I put them up. That's sick. I love them, but I would love. I would love a little dog. The little dog that. Can we see that? Oh, that's bullshit. You get this mega doll, it dude. It does the TikTok dances. It chased Ronnie Chang with a knife. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Chang with a knife. I want to. I want one of those little dogs. Yeah. You want a real. robot dog? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have one that is on your counter too. 
like a little uh, AI computer, like robot, mm. and then you come home. It's like, hello, Bobby. But don't you worry about like whatever company is running it? Just just suck it all I your do, information. I That's don't, exactly. I don't it's care. The, it's the people. I don't care. Yeah, they sent me an email. We have your password, and we're going to release all this creepy stuff you look at unless you send us money. And it was my password, and I went, go ahead. <laughs> I don't care. I've said everything on Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The stuff that's on YouTube yeah. is worse than the stuff I say in yeah, private. Dude, you can't yeah. fucking hurt me anymore. Do whatever you gotta do. You I don't can't give a hurt shit. Me. How'd they have your password? You're invincible. Dude, they I don't know. Oh. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't yeah. care. They have know, all man. your shit yeah, anyways. That's true. They're, everybody's like, dude, I want people. they got it and if they want it, they'll take it. There's nothing you can do. So if you're gonna give me a fucking a, f- a little kid that can make me a, a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah. You like that? You like peanut butter and jelly? I love peanut Who doesn't like peanut butter <laughs> and jelly? Too. I'm not. What are you nuts? Yeah, yeah, but see, this is the stuff that bothers me. Yeah, they, there's one of them. There it you go. doesn't, like, the AI stuff doesn't Dude. really creep me out anymore. It's more the having something that follows you around, listens to everything that you say, learns about you, and then shares that with a bigger. That, yeah, 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 yeah. That's of course. what I don't like. Just so what? What are you going to do? You know the stuff when, you, when you're filling out a house. password and it says uh, uh, how many trees or how many fire hydrants are in yeah. these? They're used, they use that technology. Right. Is being, used, is being used for uh, automated driving. So that's being fed. They're using us to fill out our passwords. Our, that information, they take all that data, algorithm, throw it into the car so it will see a tree, a person, a lady with a baby carriage, I, I like, a mountain in the distance. That's fine. That's Traffic all, lights. That's all for uh, 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 auto automatic driving. But so I when like, we would get in a car and we just push a button, it will take you uh, where it's going to be. I like yeah. my I, I like my privacy. I like to be able, if somebody goes like, did you watch The Last of Us finale? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I watched that. I don't want like to know in the back of my head the robot knows that I made that shit up. I did not want right. to. Right. You privacy know what I mean? Important. Like I want I want yeah. Privacy what? is is key. What? Privacy. Having your privacy is important. Pri- what is it? Privacy. Oh. That's right. That's a, that's the Queen's Thank English. You. Do you have a schedule? Yes, I do. Aluminium? Do you, you do you fly in an aluminium I'm, plane? I'm not playing this. Just be mature. Oh my god. <laughs> We were talking about that in the in the lift when we came up here. That's true. <laughs> the lift? Yes. The lift. And then someone yelled your nickname and you're like, I don't have a cigarette. <laughs> okay. That's, to take it there is just untoward. <laughs> untoward? <laughs> yeah, Bob was trying to sell me on his uh, electronic Unto- notebook. Untoward. Are you a person? He can't do that. <laughs> sell me on... <laughs> You wouldn't have one of those, Jim? No. It cleans the kitchen. What is it? Got a Zumba bill? I already have one of those. It, <laughs> Girlfriend. <laughs> it up. Nice. It, it has a, <laughs> look at, Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it patrols your house. It walks around your house, patrols close everything. Close the windows so you don't have that. raccoons crawling in your kitchen. But look at that. Brings your beer. Who has raccoons crawling? Oh, I got to get one of these Amazon robots for the next time a raccoon is crawling around my kitchen. I love it. I would hate those fucking little circle eyes. I would like that just when I'm not You'd home. love it. What are you talking about? It I looks mean, just like you. <laughs> I would like something patrolling, a lot. but yeah. not, uh, not, not something... Uh, it talks to you? I'm going to tell you right now, like if it brought shit. me a cold can of Dr. Pepper, Oof. it would sell me on it. It Come would 100%. percent i go... it talk to you? Uh, all right. It, it'd go... Sammy! And it, I wouldn't have even asked for it. It goes, Sammy, thirsty? I sure. go, a matter of fact, yeah, Your wife yeah. has to put it in the little container and it, it brings it to you. It's not... Well, I mean... Save somebody five feet of walking and they still have to bend down and put it in there. Yeah, somebody still has to put it... Yeah, of course. Robot. Shit, robot. Well, yeah, but eventually it'll get a claw that can open the fridge, no. take out a Dr. Pepper. Did they have the dog one? Where's the it. dog one? Do they have the dog one? Who makes the dog one, Bob? Do you know? Wait, oh, this is Amazon, so it's yeah. pi- it probably has to be connected to something. To your Prime. Ah, uh, fuck that. Although, I mean, you know, I got yeah. so much stuff connected to my Prime anyway. Yeah, dude. I love, what, what? People are like, I don't like the, uh, what is it, the, the Echo. Why? I don't like the Echo. I, don't I don't love like that. the no way. fucking Echo. I, I want... watch mo- I'm in. I'm in the the living room helping uh, the kitchen helping Dawn. She can you help me. Do- okay, I'll throw a little music on, whatever I want. I'll throw a TV show on the Echo. Remember when I'll you... say call mom. I'll call my mom and deal There's with that great shit. Things about I just don't like all of my conversations. Shut the lights in the backyard. I go Echo, uh, Amazon, uh, Alexa. Shut the lights off like in the backyard. I don't, I, I don't like I, saying I, it out loud. I don't like that either, and I don't like all yes, of my conversation, my private conversations. 
being listened to by even though you're not saying hey, I'm gonna blow up a fucking building, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, that's you're saying you're gonna thing. blow something. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a skyscraper. Uh-huh. I don't like that. At yeah, all. I remember, love it. Remember, Handsome I Rock them. had all those uh, recordings of his yeah. grandma mumbling into the echo. <laughs> It was hilarious. I love it. was also yeah. like enough for me to go. Look yeah, at the dog. Look at the dog. I get you. Wouldn't get that fucking dog. Look at that little dog. Yeah. You, can, See, you, you, it, but you I, don't this... have to clean up the shit. You don't have to take it out. But you why? Don't have the... to, you have to find some asshole to take it There's on no, the weekends. Want, I just want something that There's will no patrol my holder. house when I'm not there. Yeah, that will. That patrols your house. It There's runs no... around, has video in its eyes. That's all I want. And then when something happens, it will tell you. Why don't but, you just but, get a real dog? Because you got to shit, walk. Vets, yeah, can't go on vacation. Get worms. Got to get people to watch it. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into a. How much is this dumb? Huh? You used to be a dog person. I am a dog person. You're not. I'm just saying, I'm a robot dog person. More. Twenty eight hundred bucks, but it does take video. I think so. Yeah. Well, I can't hear. He won't play the sound because God forbid we fucking hear it. Selfish. I mean, I don't understand. On your show, do they sound? We got to know what's going on. That's yeah, what they do, Travis. Honestly, that's why people uh, love the bonfire so much. The bonfire is awesome. Oh, the bond fire. The bond fire. Yeah, where we, you the light. Bob fire. we get criminals Daniel out of jail. On fire. We, get, we get criminals out of jail. <laughs> this is why I'm not playing the sound. You guys are just talking. But what I we do with it is... Listen to the condescension, by the way. Yes. Well, when you have to deal with All people like you... All you guys like do you. is talk over video. Am I right, well, I'm not... you do find that I Unfortunately, you are, Travis. <laughs> I mean, you're very condescending, but that's your thing. We've <laughs> learned to deal with your little yeah. man torso am, and your right? big man fucking daily. cuntiness. Thank you. Bed and also waking them up. Yeah, he's yeah. petting the dog. Oh, oh fuck that's this dumb. shit. Lonely asshole. Stretching. This is a toy. I don't want to fucking. Buy it a water bottle, like or a water bowl. Is as well. and but for does the bone? America, why? We have Ivo's food bowls, blue for water. But does it do the video? So feeding Ivo with the Ivo app is a lot more immersive. I mean, than he it doesn't even care. You can now see what Ivo's. No, he just See, has this that. is like a Tamagotchi. This is not what you want. I don't, I don't want know what this. Bob is suggesting. No, it me. has. I look. This if is he, a Tamagotchi. No, he's setting me up for failure with this dumb little finger pointer that's on the pause. Travis, Go be find honest. the video. Is this a dog-shaped Tamagotchi? Yeah. No, it's not. Why did Bob suggest it? This video. This video. Is it a toy? Oh, you're a fraud. You're a fraud. <laughs> you fucking fraud. No, I'm here. I'm. Sound like me in the you're, mirror. You're, you're a fraud. <laughs> However you wish. In the in the in the bathroom of a private plane, yeah. you shouldn't be on this jet. Yeah. You're a fraud. By their name, of course, doesn't have to. Oh great! This is a toy, Jim. This is not what you want at all. No, it's not. And look at it. There's no camera on it anywhere. It's a toy. Possible pet experience for both. I don't want a pet experience. Security. I. I he There's brought no security. He brought up the wrong one. Security pet dog robot. Type yeah. it in. You told me this was it. You said, Shut look, there it is. Listen, get your finger off the pause button and put your little thin biscuits on the the little mouse and get me robot security dog. Do your producers talk back to you like that? I mean, never. Not we, yet. They, but they don't have to because we communicate. Robot security I would never, dog. I would never have to do this. It would just come up. I clicked on the video you Listen instructed in. me to click on. I was right, Bob. Do you hear that tone? Yeah, I don't like it. No, no, no. I'm not even saying I was right. I just had a list Sometimes, of videos up, and Bob something? said, there it is right there. You know how I know we're right, Bob? And right. I clicked on it. And Jim, you know this, and too. And then Bob says, oh, I'm stupid. That I never said the, that. His, his wife texts me and says, you're right about the tone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've she gotten, can you know that. Yeah. I, I've gotten thank you. Thank you for yeah, pointing yeah, that out for on a straight, national platform. For straightening that bitch out. <laughs> That's what she says about her husband. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe yeah. if people just gave me the right videos. Yeah, no, to it's, watch, people. Uh, it's people. It's people. It's people. You know, if one person right, thinks you're an right? asshole, mm-hmm. fuck them. But if everybody thinks you're an asshole, maybe. If you tell me. Maybe. To- just maybe. Maybe. You're an asshole. So let me ask you, Bob. Oh, here, look uh, at the hand. Oh, you know he's done uh, that. And you know he's done that to his, his yeah. your wife. Oh, is, I can't believe your wife. She yeah. got Sam? herself in shape. She has to oh, put up with looks this. Looks fantastic. This is just a Sam, question. if I had a white glove, I'd slap him in the face and challenge him to a duel right now. How many times has this happened in Staten Island? Lisa, let me ask you a question. Oh. Just, just oh, let me ask you. I'm gonna bet you never. Up. I'm going to bet never. Tell me why. Because he knows better. She'd fucking smash his head. Yeah, she comes in here and takes out all of the things I should stand up for myself at home. But yeah. she goes, why is the dishes like this? He goes, I don't know. And he cleans them. Because she threatens. Because she doesn't fuck around. She goes, you ever see a dumbbell hit a dumbbell? Yeah. And he goes, all right, she, sorry. Yeah. She would grab those little thin little 
little Harry Potter fingers and bend them right back. <laughs> yeah. He does have little British wizard fingers. Oh. She would bully him like it's three o'clock high. Remember yeah. that movie? Yes, I do. That's how she would bully him. He comes in here and, and treats us the way he thinks he would. Shit doing. rolls downhill. Yeah, he wants to behave at home the way he behaves here, but yeah, he can't. Yeah. He can't. She's put. She him, doesn't tolerate it. No, not anymore. No. He tried that. Tried shit. it once. She grabbed his wrist, bent it back. Where he's like, all right, yeah. all right, all right, right, right. Yeah, he has he mathematical stopped. fingers. Little British yeah, child on, wizard. Yeah. Yeah. This should be on a calculator, solving problems. Little abacus moving. Yeah. Fingers. <laughs> yes. That's it. <laughs> you got an abacus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, it, where's uh, Bobby? Where is the robot? Yeah, Bob, give me another guard? video to click on, and then. Tell oh! Me I'm <laughs> what a love that. Fun. Love wow! That. I love the fighting how, spirit. I how love are you? That. I mean, guys, the fact that this show is as successful as it is with that in the room is nuts. A lot of yeah. our success is right off. That Woof. is true. Yeah. Woof! In spite of, I mean, spite woof! Of, yeah. He's whole. I mean, he's a toxic energy. He is he's yeah, old. Yeah. Anchor Travis. Well, look, we relied on the robot security dog. Why don't expert you scroll before. down? Oh, you call him a robot security scroll dog? Scroll down. He came in here and yeah. use the mouth, not use your mouse, not your mouth. All right, How's right. that? You tell like me. A, a, yeah. When you found the next video, yeah. you think is the right one? Yeah. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll. Down, keep scrolling. Oh, Jacob boy. would never. I mean, well, these, are all, these are all like right? Boston Dynamics. All right, all right, well, he told right me to there, Google right robot there, security. Right there, this one? On, yeah, click that on. is literally I think it's... the dog we've been watching. All right, watching. now play it. <laughs> okay. Jacob would never, would he? But it does would video. Be honest. It does video. You didn't play the video uh -huh, part. Therapy. Here you go. Today I get to live out Jacob sort of would a never. childhood dream. Jacob would never do this because Jacob is unbelievable. Travis is unbelievable, but like when your mom says, you are unbelievable. I mean, we're just watching another video of the same dog. Fast, but fast I think it. Travis is unbelievable, but like the song, right? Oh, you're unbelievable! Oh. This dog includes two built-in cameras that recognize and remember 100 individual faces. Right. Oh, well, it looks like Bob was right and Travis was wrong. It says wrong. nothing about Boom. taking video. Boom! Recognizes faces. But oh, but does it take video? Oh, yes. wait, wait. So the cameras are there to recognize faces, it, but not to record. Takes, yeah, it's it a does. Toy dog. Ask if it records. Ask. Dog. Dog, do you record? <laughs> oh, wait, is this YouTube? <laughs> is this a bone for the dog? Yeah, you want to play with it. No, it's you a, don't. It's a yeah, toy. you do. Jim, it's a toy. You, have a do you, you get a regular robot. You want a regular robot? I want something that will fucking turn the cameras on if right. someone's in the house All right, and show that. Go, go to this thing. Go to... Go to no, you're... Uh, hold, sorry, wait. Hold, shush. Hold, hold, shush. Uh, Did I put your finger down? Uh, put your Travis finger down, right. you little medium hoodie son of a Travis bitch. Right. Oh, go man. put pipe in security robot, home robot. Security, security home robot. Home Jim, you want robot. the Amazon thing that we already saw. Yeah, no, I, 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 I brought up that Travis, thing to begin with. we're uh, not talking to you. No, Bob. Security Travis, home right, robot. I think Travis was right. Oh, look. No, scroll down. No. Oh, oh, scroll no. down. Scroll down. Oh, boy. Scroll down. Travis? Scroll yeah. down. I, right there, me? right there, right there, right there. I apologize. Personal home Thank robot. I apologize. Personal home robot. Oh, look at the, they got this, this one, too. One? Wait, wait, stop, stop. Look yeah. at the ring one they're coming out with. It actually, it's a drone Amazon that takes Amazon. off and Amazon. goes around your house Amazon and drink. gives yeah. you a uh, video of what, so if someone comes to your house, the doorbell rings, it goes, it's not comes the up, dog. goes to the window or the door, and we'll talk through it. No, look at the human being right there. Let me look see at the human. That. But the one? ten best personal world right there. Click Let on me that. See that. Click on it. It's different. And then show them the. And then we'll go to the drone one. That looks like a four by four. There you go. There you go. Look at all these robots. They fly in your house. I'm afraid it would knock my Sabbath this post just over. Says 10 look at that. Yeah, this, this is a list. This is a BuzzFeed list. Yeah, this is a list. Of, there you go. There's one. You're on BuzzFeed. He's your friend. Buzzfeed. I don't Bobby. like his lips. There's another guy, guy right there. We'll talk I don't to think you. Like yours. Security. That's why I don't like <laughs> them. <laughs> Thin. Nothing good comes out of them. <laughs> You want to see the drone one? Yes, I do. Right, I want click something back, click for back. security. Click back for the drone. Click back. Back? No, go oh, back. Oh, to, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, back? Yeah. Go down. This one? Right there, yes. Click on that one. That one's the rings. Come, has that that's one. That's a ring. Yeah, that's, that's a, a ring. ring doorbell. That's, like, no, watch. I got that already. No, watch this. Ring alarm. Watch this. So much more. Watch this. Ready? Where okay. go from here? Where? Okay. There you go. Look at ring. that. Always home cam. Always. That's, that's yeah. a little scary. It's a so invasive. This is this is Black Mirror. Yeah. We thought, what if we made a camera? that can see every angle in your home without having a camera in every room. I fucking it love it. Oh, okay. It's great, right? I'm out of my fucking mind. It's great, right? There you are. But does this guy come with it to walk around and Yeah, the Chinese, you need him because if something goes down, he fixes it. And goes here. How long does it charge for, though? 
Oh, it lands. Out. It, so I'm, you go and check, you turn on to the check charger. it, and then it lands in the charger. I couldn't be happier. No way. How great is that? Frankly, I blame the oranges. <laughs> and the always home cam works seamlessly. That's like Travis, he would blame the oranges. Do you know how great that the is? The oranges are probably a fault. <laughs> Your poor yeah, wife. That's not good. Actually, it's was great. I right or was I right? Watch oh, the burglar. Me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> How did we not know it was a burglar when we saw a guy looks like Seth Rogen? Yeah, yeah I, I know. To say oh, Seth Rogen. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And the camera the fat burglar was always trying to get through a window. <laughs> hey, here to burgle. Oh, from ring. And it goes right back into this little thing. That, let me taste it, because I have five ring cameras in my house. <laughs> How many? Five. You have a two bedroom. <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you why I do it. I'll tell you why I do it. <laughs> Did you get, what do you have, the, the Queen's jewels? Uh, no, no, it's not. It's, you can yeah, do Big actually, Brother. You can actually, do, you do. <laughs> when I. <laughs> when you can do we, Big Brother After Dark at Jim's apartment. Why do you have, I, I'll explain to you. Three if if you're now. done making witty comments about my possible motives. <laughs> I like to have one in the kitchen facing the certain, I like to have the doors of face so I can see if any of the doors open because I don't have them alarmed. Mm -hmm. I have one in the hallway <laughs> facing the door. I have one looking <laughs> into my closet. So if, I, if, yeah. if there's ever- Yeah, you don't have one coming out. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever have a contractor there when I'm not there, like I've had my super go in the house when I'm not there because he has to, and I tell him, just so you know, there's a camera. Anybody who's in there, no one's going in and taking my shit without me seeing them. I want one thing like that. That's because, amazing. Because somebody might grab that kiss poster. Fuck yeah. 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 Valuable yeah. stuff. Signed Sabbath. <laughs> Signed Sabbath. <laughs> You're in the picture. Yeah. Cut That's me out. Wild. All of a sudden, you got yourself a little item. How much is this? So this is a thousand dollars. It's not yet available. It's coming. You can request an invitation. Yeah, you, you, you. This was announced I, a year yeah, ago, and it's still yeah. not available. They'll give you no. They'll give you one, and they'll send. They'll probably send you one now for you to test out, if you want to be a tester. Oh, you walk it through the house probably, so it, you tell it where to go, like you'd give it its path. Mm. I or, I suppose so, yeah. Because you don't want to go into walls unless it has. I, like, it has to know not to. It, yeah, you probably kind of like drive it down the road that it's going to go on. Right. So and it know? records the GPS path. Yeah. That would make sense. I mean, yeah. you guys, are, I mean, just making this up. That sounds right, though. You yeah, have been, right. That's what I'm going to tell you something, Bob. You know, I'm a fan of yours. I'm a fan of yours. But right. you, Before you say this, though, yeah, I'm ahead. a big fan of yours. I, and you know what? Well, Listen, man, ahead. you're ahead. awesome, oh, and I love thanks, you. Man. I love you, too, dude. Love you, too, dude. Sam, let me jump in real quick. Go ahead. <laughs> Bob, you've been consistently wrong this entire time. Whoa! Oh, that's not wrong. Right. Travis is inc yeah. incorrect. Do you have a you have a cunt protege? <laughs> you have a little cunty guy Can I tell you that something? does your cunty work? Can I tell you something, Bob? You've known I don't me, like that. You've, I known like... me, you've known me for a long time. Yeah, I've known and... you for since you were a little boy. Sure. And, and I still see that little button nose sticking out of your hoodie. I appreciate that. Yeah, I still see it. It's a man face, but little, a uh, little tiny little nose. nose. Cindy Lou Who is still, still, still in there. still inside there. Look. Yeah. I let that part of me, for the most part, go a long time ago. Sure I matured did. out of it. Uh huh. But somebody has taken the throne of C wordness, I call it, because I don't even <laughs> use the word anymore. Yeah. Somebody is. I, they, oh, yeah. They're not a protege anymore. Yeah. It's the little. They're the master. It's the, yeah, the, the, the Mr. Hyde to the Dr. Jekyll. That's mm. right. That's right. He comes right out. Look at him over there. That's right. He looks like an unhealthy you. I let that go. <laughs> so, I let that go. That's yeah. the monster. And he still exists, and he's yeah. a Teft. Oh, he really does just come out. <laughs> yeah. The uh, Ring Always Home Cam only flies along preset flight paths. For which... now, yeah. Okay, so yeah. You, by the way, that's not Travis contributing information to the show. Yeah. That's Travis contributing, hey, Bob, I was right again, but more importantly, <laughs> yeah. you were wrong. And I get to use my fingers again yeah. and point at you and then put my hand on my hip again. Well, myself, <laughs> Sam, and Jim both came to a conclusion, and you were like, no, that's stupid. So. Can it pause somewhere Ooh. and hover if you needed to? Uh, let me see. Yes, it I can. Don't, I don't know oh, that information. I, I oh, look, look, at that, that's look at his little finger. Look at his little finger. Look at his little finger go up. He loves using that little wand, don't you, Harry? He has a little wand. And he loved, but he also loves when he remembers to say, I'm not uh, sure, let me check. Yeah. It gives but he's the being benefit. fake nice to Jim, too. No, let me check, Jim. Trust I'm me, gonna, oh, he's a cunt to Jim, too. <laughs> fair being fair, he has generally been right today. Yeah, he has been very right today. The dog thing, it was, Bob was asking it's again. A, Bob it's did, a toy, he did what he not, said. It's a he toy, did the, not, the dog is a toy. But he didn't play the whole video. This is the problem it's with him. It's a Tamagotchi. It yeah. actually, no, it actually has security in it. Yeah. You can, it does, it will walk up and take video of somebody who's there. 
That's can it. we see the video? He won't get it. He has the this, the the search abilities. One thing, and it's then like he's two videos. done. You told me to stop both of them. He, he the little finger stay. Look at where is it now? Oof. He's still look at you can't hear. You should be hearing fingers clicking right now, but you hear his mouth whapping. Does, does Jacob ever go to you after an episode of the Bonfire and say, "Hey Bob, good show today." Wanted to point out. I was right and you were wrong. No, because you know why? We're why? always together. It's a team. team. It's a team. They've been together it's, for a it's week. It's such happen. a team. You think it will? Do you think oh, they'll yeah. ever argue? It's a team. Oh, yeah. It's a team. Do you think the staff is going to get tired of Bob? If he's as wrong on the bonfire See? as he uh, is on here, I mean, then, this, yeah. I don't know how long uh, this show is going to last with this attitude. We've and had I this feel, attitude for quite a while. I've we're settled like, in. Yeah, this is what it is. It is what it is. We, yeah. we understand this wow. is what it is. Yeah. Holy shit, holy. I don't have any aspirations. I'll give you some pointers on dealing with Bob. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, you should. You should. I hope you do. I would like to give, I would like, I hope they give you pointers on how to not to use your cunty disposition. <laughs> How's that? Huh? Those would be great if he followed them. Uh, I want to be invited li- into this. A little passive aggressive. You want the ring helicopter? I like that. Be- you know, I tell you one reason I like it. Because I had at one point lit windows that were leaky, this fucking thing flies around and you could see if there's any problems. Oh, like when you're out of town, you could see if there's any puddles. If it's raining, so far so good. I have I have little things that would detect that set up all over my house. I have twenty of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Just in case. What do you have? You, you... No. no, no, for floods. I don't want to fucking flood. redundancy. Redundancy. What Am is I the, right, the, the, the deck coming in? It is important to it's build not redundancy. It's it no, it's the other side. Systems. Oh. Systems are in yeah. place. Systems are in place. Thank you. <clears throat> That's yeah. how the troops do it. I have That's a house. How we... I don't have that much shit. No. I have two. I have you two, got a couple. I have two ring cameras. You got two houses on each house. You have, I have pro- four you're... ring cameras. You're this kind been... of a property mogul. Yeah, I am. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, There's yeah, been yeah, guys yeah. on my terrace every day because they're doing work from the roof. Ninjas? Uh, no, these are men with ladders, Ooh. and they're just on they're my ladder terrace. ninjas. No, no, oh. they just have ladders. Oh. They have ladders, so we they, hear them coming. They're not roof ninjas. No. It's a threat. It's a threat. But they are working. It shows you how easy it is to get on the terrace. I mean, I so I'm, I want the cameras. It's not easy to get on your terrace. <laughs> sure it is. 100% is not. He's I bet right it's very that. hard. He's right about that. Yeah, he's right about that one. It's very hard. Bob's right. It's very hard no. to get on your terrace. Well, if you're on the roof, it's. I mean, there are cameras I'll give you, everywhere. I'll give the you roof t- has cameras. I'll give you ten million dollars if you can get on your terrace from down below. <laughs> you don't have ten million dollars. I'll give you ten dollars. Dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll give you fifteen hundred cash. Ooh. I've already done it. You, you, you came down from the roof. All right, not you, because you have Spider-Man. Ab- <laughs> you have insect-like abilities. <laughs> no, I've never done it. But there, and there's roof cameras. But I'm still. I'm. Uh, you, know, you can never have too much security on a penthouse. You can. No, you can, hey, people get people. The get reason why you into. got the penthouse is for security. It's one of the reasons. Well, you can't. It's hard to get up there. It is, and again, there's roof cameras like the building has. It, there, it would be whoever went through would be seen and be eventually caught. Oh, so you you say go up the stairs up to the roof and then jump down on your. What did you think I meant? Up the side of the building? Yeah. No. That's exactly what I thought. I meant from the roof right down. He thinks that, like people could rappel down like their, ninjas. Yes. I've seen guys looking over. They can. They but look over. Ca- I mean, very rarely, but there's cameras that would see them doing that. Right. But once they're over, well, you know, if a guy comes in. He's fucked up. You know, this camera guy, it's not good enough. <laughs> God, bless God bless you. Well, where do they go with the kiss poster, though, after they break in? They, they have they, to go they, back up on a roof. Dude, they're roof ninjas. They go they, back up. No, they with just the open kiss the, poster, it's They huge. hit the ball of smoke. Open the front And then they're door gone. And walk out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They door. could do that, too. They yeah. could do that. And then just leave. Get on the yeah. elevator and go. Not out. if you had that dog. It would... Riff, riff. And then all of a sudden I'd hear a crunch and they would step on my fucking pet That's security right. system. That's right. It'd be like leaving a Tamagotchi keychain on the doorknob. It would do nothing. Yeah. That's basically all it is. Tamagotchi? Yep. Just you can parachute out too. Down. That's always a... Yeah, yeah. With the kiss poster? Hold the kiss poster, throw the parachute and jump. Jim, you can pause this camera. That's actually you can. That's, yeah. that's, that's what you, you do. Because you, you don't pull the thing. Minutes. You just throw the parachute first yeah. because... Yeah. It went, Until it recharges. Yeah. It okay. only char- flies for five minutes. Yeah. That's more than enough I'm sure they'll fix that. They can put a better battery in there. And that. also for your home, that's all you need anyway. Yeah. I mean, it may take a, a minute to get around. Unless you're jerking off to something at your house. Yeah, yeah. fuck. Watch yeah. this shit. <laughs> fucking bitch. Right. How long does it I take like to I like to have it follow the housekeeper. That'd be funny. <laughs> you missed a spot. <laughs> Talking to her. <laughs> 
You have it, a housekeeper, Sam? Yeah, she comes like uh, every two weeks. Yeah, but mine does too. Yeah. Every two weeks. Yeah. How three, many, uh, three times a week. Three times a week? I say clean those flecks out of my toilet. Ugh. Did your housekeeper really come three times a week? No. Oh. I mean, I don't know. You're you're a you're a yeah. You're a, a penthouse. You're a well-to-do man. Yeah, you're a penthouse. Would boy. it surprise you if Jim had a housekeeper come three times a week? I wouldn't be surprised if he had one live in the house. <laughs> live in house. Just living like a live in housekeeper. <laughs> yeah. Once yeah. a week. Once every two weeks. And she came out every every day, twice a day. Yeah. Mister Jim. You know what the main job of the housekeeper is in Jim's house? Yeah, clean right. poop out of the toilet. Piss stains on the sheets. Hey, yeah, yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> he right, wets, look, he does wet the I've, bed. I've, I, I said the other night, I almost forgot, Go last ahead. week, yeah. uh, I did have a, 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 a nice little drip, some drip Why? Because a little tinkle came out. <laughs> Why? I was sleeping, dreaming of having to piss, <laughs> and my dreams were a reality. And I woke up, and I peed, and I got back in bed, and oh! I could feel it. On my leg. There You're a guy tests. who makes your dreams come true. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I wiped. I stamped it out though with my with my hip. Oh, I just slept in it. I don't care. Did you tell your lady that you wet the bed? Oh, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you did tell her. Sure, she knows you wet well, the bed. Sure. Um, what could she say? She just realizes the mistake she's made. Yeah. <laughs> That's part of that's part of the package. It's part of the package. Part baby. of the Jim Norton package. You like I'm, the view? It's gonna be piss in the bed. I I that's take right. I can piss regular, but in the morning my piss takes a long time. What is that? Uh, maybe you're probably holding it all night, so your body is. Uh, I don't it's know, it a, takes a minute. When you drive a long time, you hold the piss, and then you piss, and you feel like you're not done. Maybe it's one of those. It's long and slow. <laughs> like it, ta- I'm, I, it's annoying how slow. But you have to the, go. It's not the like the morning you're piss it out. is the. It's just so long and slow. And then the other pisses during the day, a nice and full sounding. Crisp. And, yeah. The mechanics working. Like a all. nice crisp A nice piss. crisp tinkle, yeah. Yeah. Too. But the that. morning piss is annoying to me. I'm like, I got to go. I, gotta, I can't. I can't, but I, I got to keep going. I got more piss, but it doesn't come out yeah. fast enough. Yeah, that? you just got to get the gears moving, I think. How? Well, that's what I, that's all Stay, you can I got to put my yeah. finger in my bum? What do I do? Maybe if you sit down that doesn't help. Pee. What? Sit down to pee? Yeah. You don't do that. Of course. You sit to no, pee? I'm kidding. No. You sit to pee? Yes. Yeah. Why? I'm pretty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our engineer, Mars, uh, would never sit down to pee. I remember Mars. Yeah, he had issues with his mom, and so he would never sit down to pee even if he was shitting. If he was shitting and he felt like he had to piss, yeah. he would finish the shit, hold the piss, then stand up and use the urinal. It's the craziest thing I've mean, ever heard. Yeah. Yep. He should have been because he's not a woman. Yeah, he should have been hit in the head and then fix shit in his brain and then put him back together. That's, That's crazy. That's crazy. People shit. No part uh, uh, unintended. I have to piss too. We you have break. to piss. Yes. Oh, we haven't even broke. What time is it? Hour and thirty five minutes. We're that, talking. That's crazy. Is yeah. it? Wow, that's a long time that's without breaking. That's how we breaking. rock on Jim and Sam. Yeah, we just oh. talk for a while, have a real chat. We don't have a producer tell us when to go to break. Yeah. No, we just do when we want to. They're in charge, not me. Yeah, but you really put Bob in his place. Yeah, well, when he's wrong, he's wrong. I mean, what do you uh, I mean, you know what? When you're wrong, uh, you're right. How's that? Right? Okay. Yeah, see? He huh. took it. He loves that. He likes that. Uh, I hope you get beat by her today. I hope yeah. she hits you. With a pan. Yeah. I bet you that's why Travis always wear long sleeves. Because I bet she <laughs> digs her fingernails into his arm <laughs> and says, I asked you to fucking clean that. Don't. Just, yeah. She probably gets mad when she fucks with me, too. Don't fuck with Bobby. She talks through gritted teeth. Well, yeah. yeah. She loves you, so. Yeah. 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 I love her too. I, I found know, a nice I photo know. of Bob and, and Lisa from many years ago. Oh, oh, can you send it to me? I will. Yeah, thanks. You gonna get it framed? <laughs> um, I already have one frame. Uh, if it's the one I have framed, no. But if it's a new one, if it's a new one, maybe. <laughs> How does that make you feel that I Bob's might... got pictures of you and uh, of him and uh, just your wife? I'm gonna get that two of them yeah. framed. Well, I'm conflicted because I do love Bob and my wife. Yeah, right. But maybe not together. Hey, I love both those people, but this is making me you know feel what? weird. <laughs> I might get it into like an eyeglass case holder. That photo. I love that. Yeah. Maybe even maybe a clock. I'll make it into a clock. You know what? what? The digital. Put it up background on your phone. You know what? Bingo. Yeah. Actually, I'll make it into my background on my new uh, super note. What's a super note? Well, we should break. Uh, Bob's oh. gonna pitch his super note. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll take a break. We'll piss. Let me promote Bobby properly. Oh, please. Of Thank course, you. Uh, Monday through Thursday on the Bonfire, Woo! 5 to 7 with Jay. Bonfire. Uh, the Bonfire. Bond. Friday and Saturday, this weekend, Wise Guys in Salt Lake City, which is such a great club. Unbelievable club. I can't wait to go back there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's amazing. And then he's got Saratoga Springs coming up. Oh, Moon Tower in Austin in uh, April. And then uh, April 28, 29, Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant. 
I'm going to Cleveland, Montclair, Bethlehem. And I think that's, I, and I'm doing New Hampshire with Bert in um, June. So if you kind of want to come see me, come see me. If not, I get it. And don't say I'm it not like that. Promoting. I'll tell you, you got to go see Jim, one of the funniest guys walking the earth, and he's coming to a town near you this month. Go see Jim at jimnorton.com for tickets. We'll see you when we get back from break. Have a tinkle inkle. Oof. It, 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 it. It's Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Back after this. Here they are. Here, 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 they, here, here they are. Jim and Sam are back. Welcome back. Jim Norton, Sam Roberts, Bob Kelly, Troy, Mike, and Travis. That should be the name of the show. It's probably a lot. Bobby Bonfire. Yeah, you can hear Bob Kelly full-time on the bonfire now. Isn't it weird? Crackle, bitch. Isn't it weird having a full-time gig? Like, like you're employed, like a oh. job. It's freaking me out. <laughs> yeah. I it, like it. It makes me feel more normal and stable, but it is. It does take get used to as a stand-up. But I'm... I'm I'm in the middle of uh, I gotta chill out a little bit with stuff because I have too much now. I'm doing it too much. Like every day is full. That's good. It's good, but it's too much. Like I was all day gone yesterday. All day I'm gone. Now that I have a f- regular gig, I want to relax a little bit. Yeah. Fo- you know, I you kind of just want to focus on that show. Yeah. It's good that your kid's not little anymore. So it's, it'd probably be a little tougher when your kid was little. <clears throat> Well, to give up days. No, it'd probably be easier because you weren't there for your kid when he was growing up. Now he wants. He's like, "Where you going?" He knows. Oh, so you work. He recognizes life. your absence, and he's used to you being there. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like, "Where are you going?" I got to go to work. Well, do you gonna, have to? He doesn't understand. That you ha- you know what I mean yet? But because you never had to. You're not going to do the bond to fire from the shed. No, yeah, I would. You, no, you have fire. to be in. You you, you have can't, to be in studio. You have to be in studio. I agree. You just can't. Obviously. You can't. Uh, I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm sure we'll have to do it once here in a while. There. Yeah, yeah, but, one years away, but you prefer to do it here. Yeah, no, but yeah, it's great. It's the perfect time. There's it's something like, about being in the room together. Like you just, you want to. Okay. <laughs> okay he's rubbing <laughs> his head. <laughs> he's go over and touch. Um, <laughs> you can touch. You can't touch when you're doing it remotely. No, is the problem. No, fun. no. So, but it's good. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's it. Boom. Done. Oh, that's bada right. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, which is great. I mean, this week we're you know we're doing a little extra, but and I'm, I'm you know I'm going on vacation a couple weeks, going to Aruba. You love Aruba. It's the best. I Aruba never Ray, there. baby. Aruba Ray. You working for Ray, dude? Yeah, you go there. He has I think it's three or four shows. Uh, you do. Uh, he has it at this club. Uh, it switches here and there. It's been it was the Marriott for a while, which was awesome. Then it moved to the Holiday Inn. I believe it was, and that was great room, awesome and comedy room. At yeah. The Holiday Inn. And uh, I don't know who I'm there with, but who am I there with that week? Brian sure. McFadden does it a lot. He's very funny. Brian's perfect for it. Yeah, he's, he's clean. He fucking Tony, murders. Tony V writer. murders. Allison Levy, Tony V, uh, Ray L. Uh, uh, who's Allison Levy? Yeah, Tony V's great. Ray, Tony. Who's Allison Levy? Levy. Who is that? That's great. Perfect. Yeah, it's great. So I'll be there for that week, the last week. Oh, uh-huh. that's WrestleMania week. That's when Who I'll be that? at the uh, Comedy Store in Los Angeles for Not Sam Mania Wednesday, March 29th. Oh yeah, we're doing that. I uh, we'll see. I don't know if you'll be oh. able to make it in. Okay. Yeah, Aruba Aruba Rays is the best. Quick show. Do you like 25 minutes? And you gotta be clean though. Not really. Oh, that's nice. Not really. The crowds are adult. They're all from New York and Boston and Europe, mm-hmm. so they're cool. Um, you can't you can't be a too graphic. But I, you know, you can't be a pig. Yeah, you can't be up to going. I, I was want to be a cunt. pig. Yeah, no, Why it's not? great. By the water all day, pool. You go swimming? Oh, <laughs> yeah, all day long. <laughs> yeah, you do all day long. You yeah, frolic you in the water? Frolicking, I'm swimming and frolicking. It's like grease, You're just splashing. Well, yeah. now that Max is older, last time we went last year, you know, we went last year. We we're supposed to go for two weeks. 
for Christmas, I got, finally got her to go for Christmas and New Year's. I was like, let's just go. Fuck it. We'll do Christmas when we get back. The regular traditional shit. That way you get a Aruba trip and you get Christmas. So we did We did Christmas and New Year's there. We stayed another week. I got her to sit. That's right. The last, I go, what are we going back for? We have, I have to, no shows. You're not, what do you have? Let's just stay. And Ray was like, you can stay another week. And I just did like two more shows with him because he's so generous. Then, then they got COVID. I That's remember right. that. And they had to stay another five days. We were there for a month. But now you can't do that anymore because you got a gig. You'll have to I come can, back. There's well, only gonna, so many vacations. I'm going to bring uh, one of those things with me. What's one of those things? That could be anything in life. The uh, little uh, <laughs> CPT things. units you take. You can just do be it a over hat. You can just do it over Zoom with a microphone. Yeah, no. I was just saying that. I'm not bringing anything. No. <laughs> um, bring, a little, bring a little Yeti. A little Yeti mic. I mean, I guess. I mean, we're Yeti. There's probably better mics. Why would I bring a Yeti? Yeti, Yeti. is better than sure. Well, why would I bring a Yeti? I don't know what other kind of little portable mics do you have. Yeti's not better than Shure. Shure's not. way I better. I know. Oh. <laughs> and I got caught again in the web of deception. <laughs> there's uh, a lot of deception on our show. I know you guys don't do that on Bonfire, but we do deception yeah. No, here. there's a lot of deception. This, yeah. this is like the board game Bonfire. Clue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. This you know is... who would hate it? Bobby Lee. He doesn't like deception. Oh no, he doesn't like it's like the glass onion in this room. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um, it's the dark we're well, we're practitioners of the dark arts here. Yes, and the dark web like Gary Glitter. One month out. <laughs> well, how bad do, how bad do you need to jerk off to that where you can't wait a month? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Seventy eight. Sentenced yeah. to sixteen years in prison in twenty fifteen after he was found guilty. Was this uh, for, was this for, um where was this? Because in Vietnam, he had gotten in trouble for like fumbling with like really young girls. He had child porn. Like this is like a, lo a lot of different shit. Well, he was recently spotted at the Bail Hotel Hostel after getting out after like eight years in jail, seven years in jail. Yeah, he went in twenty fifteen, uh, in the United Kingdom, where he was allegedly typing how to avoid detection when web browsing on a cell phone. How do they catch him on what? camera? I mean, these what guys. Are you, if you see a camera? What are you looking up at it and asking the camera if you spell things right? But like everybody thinks that uh, <laughs> that that oh, you know, our privacy, our privacy. This they're gonna catch us on camera doing that. Everybody's getting caught because they're googling dumb shit. He literally he wants to jerk off to that so badly he couldn't wait. He was he, seven years. He's out for less than a month. I mean, they say that that's like he just has to jerk off. Well, to it. well, that's what they say. Like those are the repeat offenses on cases like this are just through the roof, right? Yeah. Isn't that recidivism is very high yeah. for because I don't, he's not just a guy who washed it; like he did it. Like, yeah, he, you know what I mean. He got convicted of doing it. Oh, uh, there it is. Somebody took a picture of him. Yeah, but can you see what he's writing? Like it's just his phone. Give it a zoom ski. Yeah, if they enhance, you could probably see. What it. would they have to do? Enhance. Oh, mm -hmm. don't let me forget. I enhanced. Don't let me forget I enhanced. <laughs> yeah, back in jail. But now this is just, will he get parole? He didn't commit a crime, but I guess he violated the terms, very strict terms of uh, his parole. Right, so. When he was picked up, he, he told uh, officers he was trying to find the onion, which is. Uh, the onion the router? Web, yeah. The web browser? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I thought there was slang for 13-year-old girl, but the onion. Hey, yeah. Ooh. Welcome back to the other <laughs> Okay. Hey. All right. Make a note. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oof. So he's going back. I don't know. I hope. I, I really hope he goes back. If, I mean, literally, if, if you're in jail for seven years and you're out for, and you're still in the halfway house, you're like, I have to do it. It's got, he's got to go to jail forever. <laughs> I got to tug my dick to this. I mean, it's got to be forever. I can't. It's been a month. It's been, I, I mean, seven years. I got to tug my dick now. Yeah, but you're not going to be in the halfway house forever. Did you hear what I said? I have to tug my dick now. It's up to the parole board whether they re-release re him. They can't. He's a danger to society. Because he's obviously going to do that again. He's like, a danger to society. What? Can I Can I please be honest? Go ahead. Sure. I don't even know who the fuck this guy is. Gary Glitter? I'll I play do. this song, da, Bobby. Da, 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 da. Hey! Oh, yeah, I know. Da, da, yes, da, da. yes, yes, yes. Well, is that him right there? Yeah. Yes. i will be scared yeah. if they showed another guy. <laughs> Why? It's a Gary Glitter child porn store, and they show a picture of David Bowie. Like, what are they doing? He went to jail for uh, molestation. Yeah, like young, really young girls. How young. long? He, he did got seven sixteen, years. but he got seven. I think they said the judge said that the crimes were pretty bad, 
and he wanted to give him more time, but, but that because was it max? was so long, yeah, I don't, I don't know a lot of the details of it. In 1999, he was sentenced to four months in prison for possessing 4,000 images of child porn. Four That's months? 4,000? That's so many images. In so 2006, he was sent to jail for three years for obscene acts with two girls in Vietnam. Oh, that's the one. Okay. When he returned to the UK, he was placed on their sex offenders register. Jeez. And then he was sentenced in 2015 in the UK. Dude, he won't stop. For That's old uh, stuff. This is for 16 years when he was found guilty for sexually abusing three young girls all under the age of 13. No. Then he was released. So he had already repeated it multiple times and now Yeah. He got to lop your dick off. Now he's looking to get on the dark web? What are you Thanks. looking to get on the dark web for? Nothing. Yeah, download fucking Nothing. Hollywood blockbusters. <laughs> they should cut his fingers off. That way he can't type? Can't type. Can't jerk off. Can't, can't put him out. Can't fiddle. Yeah. Yeah. Can't diddle. Just, take, just lock him up forever. Yeah, he's 78. We're going to lock him up. Will you, will you, take, will you, will you, you don't think he should be locked up? Just get rid of him. Kill him? Yeah. I don't think they have the death penalty for that. Well, they should. They should. I mean, it's England. They should bring him to the Tower of London and do it old school, like torture him. I don't know. That song is good. Like Put him on one of those pyramids. You ever see the pyramid one? Yeah. Oh, it goes into your hiney. Oh, and it just splits you open. And the, they said even if you survived it, the disease would have killed you. <laughs> yeah. Just a crow picking at your asshole. I mean, they got away with using this in the Joker movie because he doesn't own it anymore. He doesn't get the money. He sold it. Yeah. I don't need to see them playing it live because it's just. Is that well, it's, a, it's an anthem. Is that it him is. in front with the? I hope so. The Imagine if he's the guitarist and some guy just jumped up at that out there. <laughs> I don't necessarily like the hay of people. Just three guys yelling hay in a studio. I mean, can you imagine this song, right? And you're like, what part of the song are you? And you're like, I'm the vocalist. I'm the what? second hay. He's not, he's not playing any instruments. None. He's just the vocalist. Saying, hey. Stop dancing, Jim. It's weird. It's a good song. The guitarist is really the star of this. The drummer's not even doing shit. I could keep this beat. I don't play drums. All right, now it's ramping up. The kicks in a little bit. Here comes like, Gary. All right. Oh, uh, is this my part? <laughs> <laughs> He's not even, even doing do the video. One. No. He didn't do that one. He's not even doing it. Yeah. You guys. You guys do this one. I don't like that this is part one and two. What's and the why difference? is there two drummers? Because this beat's so complex. Yeah, but the guy's hitting the cymbals. There's no cymbals in this. Oh, this there is Gary's he part. He's good. This is acapella kind of thing. <laughs> That's not necessary. No, it's totally unnecessary. Yeah, you don't need a... For this song, you don't need that outfit. No, no, well, no. I mean, it's the outfit is what makes him. If you're just a guy with no glitter on, people would be like, "Why is that guy here?" Yeah, it's a lame. He hay. just fell. He did fucking idiot. Just fell by accident in his own video. Yeah, this guy, this sucks. It's the beat the black skin. Yeah, this is not a good video, and the long version, this is not good. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. This like this drum part stinks. It's a stadium anthem. It is, yeah. Why? Two Not written drummers. to be one, though. I don't know what they wrote it for. Like, what was it written as? Maybe like a. Was it not written? I mean, it, it's certainly written to be some kind of an anthem. It's anthemic. I know, but it was like the '72. So, did they even think? I've never I've heard. I've never this made before. it this far. No one has. We're actually the first people to ever listen to this. <laughs> uh, wow. I hate that little lame hay. It's mesmerizing how shitty this is. It's garbage. Yeah. Oh, they're in a jukebox. Oh, this that part looks like too. Rogan. Yeah, I've never heard this. That does look like uh, the comedy it looks mothership. Looks like Rogan's new club. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard this. Nobody ever has. No, the only time anybody's ever heard this song is in increments of seven seconds. That's right. Between innings. <laughs> Like that part when it ramps up is good. That's okay. the only part of it that's good. But not with this lyrics. Like, stop talking over it. No, the hay is so much better. Yeah. But he's, his lyrics are good. Terrible. <laughs> this is the genre. He's not lip syncing well. He looks like a fat Elvis impersonator. 
I mean, imagine if somebody was just like sitting there singing like, I've got the rhythm and I've got the blues. Like, what? yeah. This is not good. This is so bad. It's, yeah. hi- it's hypnotizing me. It's yeah. terrible. I mean, it's fucking hypnotizing. This is so shitty. This is terrible. I mean, the visual. You that- need the visual. The audio is not... If, you, if I'm not looking, I snap out of it. But if I look at him with you his can't stupid... not look. Black Reebok stickers in that outfit. I mean, this is so bad. Rock and roll. Yeah, I mean, this is jock jams. This is not... This is not rock meant to be roll, performed in front of me. You like the rock and roll version better? I do. Rock and roll. Rock Maybe this is Gary's roll. idea, and then the guitarist had the idea for just the haze. Yeah. And they're like, hey, oh, hey, hey, why don't we do... When Gary left, they're like, Gary stinks. <laughs> Let's just put in hey. Yeah, this song was meant to be coupled with other things. Yeah. The idea that I'm just sitting here enjoying this song has never happened. I don't know, because of when it was written, they didn't write necessarily... No, but it's... For it's, stadium anthems weren't really a thing. Uh, yeah, it was. In the... Or 72. The Queen. Queen, right? Queen didn't... They have a, they had a stadium. But no, no, but that was a song. Like, right. meaning that these... Like, well, now it? it's like jock jams. They didn't have that shit in 1972. It wasn't like a goal. I don't think of artists. He oh. just wrote this as a song. Rock and roll, a roll and a rock, a rock how's, and how's a roll. A roll and a rock, a rock and a roll. Onion round, rock. Rock what? and roll. Onion rock? Tiny little hineys roll and rock. <laughs> this fucking sucks. It looks trash. exactly like Joe Rogan's club. It does. That's it, it does. It is the comedy mother. That show. is funny. Speaking of uh, anthems, too, they were... Uh, Thank you. Somebody, somebody I guess, uh, Twitter hot taked that uh, Seven Nation Army might already be one of the best songs of the century. Right, two thousands. I would say that. And then, uh, yeah. And then another person responded to that tweet. Yeah. You know how important these tweets are. Sure. Another person responded to that tweet saying that uh, uh, how much better the White Stripes would be if Meg White wasn't such a bad drummer. And boy, did that guy get dragged. Bullshit. I love that she's a, just a simple drummer. That's why of it's course. good. Of course, that's why you it's good. He doesn't dummy. know what he's talking about. I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? John Bottom behind the kit? You musicianship? Fun. No, she's great. She's fine. That's like Fine. let's like say like uh, great drummer. Yeah, I mean, he's what an ass. Stupid takes. Know. Two, it's a two man. Guy. Listen to the two white person. stripes and, and and two person. All right, woke Jimmy. I'm just trying it's to straighten It's a two out, man Bob. band. That's problematic. It's a two man band. Two person. It's, it's like Royal Blood. There's two people and it sounds like there's five. It's a three. It's designed to be a three piece band. Yeah, guitars, vocals, and drums. And it's not. I mean, how is it not? Guitars, vocals, and drums. Because it's two people. Two people. One person sings, plays guitar, the other one plays drums and sings. Bum. There's no bassist? No. No, it's a three part band. No. It's guitar. And, and Royal vocals, Blood and doesn't have I a guitar. Thought, I thought it would be guitar and vocals <clears throat> where it's Jack and then a bassist and then her. No, there's no bassist. Royal Blood is two people too, but the, he plays bass and makes it sound like a guitar. There's no bass in that? In no. Royal Blood? No, no, in, in Jack White. In, no. In the White Stripes. I don't no. Know no. Play, play or if there is, or Jack White will pick up the bass. Do you ever hear Royal Blood play? Or Can someone, you play Royal Blood, Little Monsters? Listen, to, tell me this doesn't sound or, like a whole or band. Or is there someone playing bass that's not getting... You can pitch a guitar down. You have a pedal that pitches it down an octave. Oh, that, that plays okay. the bass for it. That's yeah, no, Jack it. plays everything. I mean, she's so cute, too. Listen. Do you like her feet? This is for Bob. Listen to Why this. Why are you playing Royal she's Blood? Nice she feet. asked me to. Play it, let, get it, you can just get into it. Yeah, we don't need to hear people on the Two people. Lunch. Two people. <laughs> Two people. It's drums and guitar. It's, it's a rock. bass. Yeah, except it's butt rock. It is a little butt rock. It is. This, but, this is butt rock. I love yeah, butt rock. I don't love this. You, you don't like either. Royal Blood? Get the fuck out of I don't never heard it, but I'm not loving You're it. You're crazy. Huh? Royal Blood's great. They're unbelievable. Well, great band. I'm not loving them. Well, this no. one song, but they've got a bunch of great songs. they got a Play ton one. of songs. For I don't sure. like this song. So That's far, I'm just saying, maybe there's more. I'd love to Troy, hear another. maybe you can suggest a song. Because right, yeah. this is butt rock. This what is you, butt rock. you keep saying butt rock. You want me to ask, what is butt rock? No, I don't. I mean, butt You're rock. You're dying for me to ask. Butt rock is butt rock. Get your hand out of your pocket. You look weird. It's freaking me hey, out. Bob. It's the morning, okay? Okay. You can make demands in the afternoon. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's sorry. true. Okay, you wait till 5 o'clock you're to right, make you're your right, demands. You're right, you're right. Listen, yeah. let me ask you a question. Uh, you look like you have one arm. It's freaking me out. That's all I'm saying. Well, that's the way it's going to stay, because this is the morning, okay? Oh, really? Is that how you rock it out? This is how we rock it in the morning. What? Let me ask you a question. What's butt rock? You know, it's like uh, like Nickelback is butt rock. This yeah. is not butt rock. 
Hundred percent not butt rock. rock. It's oh, butt rock. Right? Drummer's yeah. wearing a baseball hat. Yeah, yeah the drummer's kind of wearing a baseball hat. Right. He's kind of butt rocky. Yeah. That's a great song. Ooh, yeah. parental advisory. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great song. Listen, listen. Turn it up. Oh, I've heard this. Yeah. This is good. Sure. Yeah. Turn it up. I mean, it sounds a little hey, derivative. Stop being a like, sissy like on that volume button. It, sound, it sounds like Wolf Mother. It sounds a little derivative. I mean, it's been done before. Yeah, it's a it's a little. What is the audio effect? I don't like this is like almost like the white stripes. Like the wah -wah wah -wah. On the audio? It, oh, it, the it voice. sounds like a white stripes thing, yeah. This is derivative of Jack White. Yeah, it's been done. Everything's except, derivative. What are you guys fucking music critics? It, Shut the fuck up. It's yeah. kinda like the white stripes if you put oh, it in you guys are a such commercials. Everyone's oh. a music critic. Yeah. It, it is the a little worse. It's Jack designed White. to be on commercials. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. It is. yeah. It's a movie soundtrack. You're designed it's to like what if the white stripes could be more accessible? Yeah, yeah. This is an, a yeah. very accessible band. <laughs> yeah. This is like the Imagine Dragons of the White Stripes. Imagine Dragons. Yeah. Oh, you're an asshole. Yeah. This it's, is very. It's very easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, oh, of course. Right. Like it's very like, White Stripes. Well, yeah. It's, well, yeah. it's like if the White Stripes. Yeah. GP, and it's and like, it's, it's like, only two people. It's like the White Stripes GPT. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's like yes. if if, if, if AI did garage rock, they would come out with this yeah. song. Sam, I'm not gonna. I don't care enough about this band to stick up for them. So you're right. Yeah. My I mean, point brought, is, is that they're two people. It's That's like, the hey, you point. know, all those chances the White Stripes took, like, yeah. you know, musically. Let's see if we can yeah. cash in on these them. guys. Did, what, these guys like, did too. You're right. Commercially worked. And just I agree people. with you. You're sure. right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Let's take the stuff. I'm on, you know what? You're right, man. Let's take the stuff that the yeah. White Stripes did well. Yeah, let's do it. And let's yeah. do that. Let's do, do it, average. I'm yeah, gonna be a heel average. too. I'm a heel too. <laughs> I, I agree with you. These are average. These guys. This is you know what? These, these right. guys stink. Put on. Put Nobody on. Nobody said they stink. It's just put derivative. Put on the original. Yeah, no, no, put on yeah. the. Yeah, they're seven so, nation. Why are you so army. shitty? They're not. Yeah. They're derivative, dude. Why, I'm agreeing with you. You switched me. Why right. you got me? We got him. You He's got right. me. Right. I'm with you. Why is, why is, don't get mad. Why don't get Bob mad. Being shitty. Sam, yeah. don't get mad. Because he doesn't like when someone points like out that his music is derivative. They're terrible. It's a little derivative. They're very average. They're derivative. They are. I agree with you. You switched me. I agree with you. I'm with you. Now this is original. Yeah, this is great. Well, I, I this prefer is, a better would, drummer. Whoever said I mean, it is right. The, obviously, take the white stripes. But Royal Blood's not bad. Why do you bring up Royal? I say Royal yeah. Blood. He said two people. I could play this drum. They're two people. That's all. But you're right. They're very derivative Bob of found everything. Found a new band and he wanted to share it. And they're, they're not new. Band. They're five, ten years old. They're a good band. Yeah. No, they're I mean, not like the White Stripes though. The white this stripes this are is original. Their own. They're this skilled is. musicians. They know how to play their instruments. I mean, yeah, yeah. but they're not original. No. No. <laughs> no. I know. Yeah. This is I, a great they're not song. Original. This, I mean, you said it. This, this is original. original. Yes, it is. They wouldn't is, be successful yeah. without the White Stripes. No way. Yeah, certainly not. So Absolutely they have not. Anything to do. No, I agree with wouldn't. you. No, they wouldn't. Thank you for saying that, Travis, because I was thinking it, and you said it. Yeah. Does Royal Bob Bob do right. any uh, rapping? Why would you bring it up? Yeah, he can rap, too. Just because of the two people thing. But I shouldn't have. No, no, no. I meant by Travis. You know oh, Travis. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Jack White's a rapper as well. I like being on the side of everybody instead of going against it. We like you that it's way. Easier. I like being on the tube going downriver instead of trying to... <laughs> it's fun. It's, fun. it's better. <laughs> yeah, this band's great. I'm so sad I never saw them. They were, they're so good. I, I get why... her with a better drummer than her. Sam, no, Pete, that's Sam, crazy. stop touching the mic. I get excited. Uh -huh. But I get, uh, uh, I get why Meg was so stressed out. Why? Because Jack wouldn't do set lists. Meg just had to follow him. You know what I mean? Like, he would just start playing, and Meg was like, oh, okay, this is what we're doing then. And every single show was, like, incredibly different. Like, there was no sort of, eh, it's kind of like this, and we might switch it up here and there. Every show was totally different, and yeah. Meg would just have to kind of follow along with whatever Jack. D, 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 D. It'd be hard to work with, I think. It'd be tough. Uh, yeah, just unless a, you're... Because, you know, he does stuff that makes it harder for him to play. Yeah, 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 because he likes the challenge. Yeah. I mean, he used to, like insist on recording the albums on eight tracks like he wouldn't use computers at all why is that because he just liked it he liked the challenge he liked that there were no wasted takes you know he's changed now as a solo artist he uses way more stuff he has bigger bands he uses computers but like <laughs> when it was just him and meg it was literally just him and meg and they would record reel to reel Maybe there's you, something cool about playing a song and tracking it, and that's the song that lives forever. Yeah. 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 Yes. Fuck yeah. And Gold she's cool. She's a great drummer. No, she's Average. exactly what this band should she's have. She's your yeah. wife drummer. She's a wife drummer. Whoa. Teach my wife to play the drums. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, honey, I'll you come out with me. I mean, it's like 
it's like a punk rock band. If you Travis knows about it. If you I'm a punker. If yeah, you, you are. if you put in the most skilled musicians, you lose the soul yeah. of what the band is. Sure, yeah. Right. Well. He was a very skilled musician. Right. Jackson is a really skilled musician. He's incredible. Yeah. And then his wife. Let's him shine more that she's just kind of simplistic. Nah, but his wife is just like, you know, why don't you come along? Band. Yeah. I think they're brother sister. I think they're married. They're not married. They're divorced. They were divorced when all this was happening. That's his sister. They are brother sister. Well, they're both last name is White. Yeah. Sure. Jack White and Meg White. Yep. You see the nudes of her? <laughs> I, would not. I would never. She didn't want those out. I, I've never. She looked good? Woof. Yeah. <laughs> Woof. Wow. I would love to see. They're great. I'm trying to think how to ask this. I can't ask it right. How? Try. No, it's going to come out as inappropriate. No, on, we, know your, we know, we know you your intention. Yeah. Come on, Jimmy. You got this. What's her cunt look like? <laughs> wow. Jim. That was over the line. I mean, that was too much. That was awful. Wow. Yeah, that was bad. That was, I mean, I didn't think you were going to go there. <laughs> that was bad. Holy God. It's an honest question, though. Yeah. Play Royal Blood. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was, that's one of the best songs of the 20th. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a great century. song. Yeah. Great song. Great, great song. Great song. And it's a good and song. great stadium anthem. Play on the drums. Yeah, when sure you, is. When you learn how to play drums, that sure. was a like nice, easy. You don't even need hands. Just your feet, you could do that song. <laughs> do, 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 do. That's, I could do that. No, you can't. Sure I can. Do it. That's not it. Well, yeah, what are you a fucking? Are you, you call him for rain? No. Dun, you're not dun, even dun, the rhythm. Listen to me. Dun, 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 exactly. Yeah, you're not even it. playing the drum part. But I'm not a drummer. You're playing the guitar. Dun, 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 I'm not a drummer. Bobby, right? Bobby played drums on a show. He he knows more about drums That's than it. her. He okay. learned how to play drums. You're better than her. So, <laughs> <laughs> you you fucking you 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 who played a drummer are better drummer than Meg White. She's very pretty. She has nice feet. I mean, I would There's no. Let me see it. Go, why are you mouthing words? You can say it, Bob. We're dogs. I don't want to be a dirty bird on the radio. It's early. It's the morning. Hey, can we look her My up? friend Lenny's do... wife is listening, and I don't want her to think I'm a pervert. Shout out. Lenny Marcus's she's wife. She's a delightful is, woman. She's a big fan, and yeah, I don't she's want her delightful. to think. She's delightful. I would like to see uh, her hooch. So Lenny's wife? Look? No. Oh, Meg this Jesus Christ. Sound like you're saying Lenny's wife. Dude, have a pause. Meg White. We're talking about Meg White right, already. fine. I didn't know. All right, People yeah. know that we're digressing and coming back. I'm on the same. I want to see the hooch of this woman on on uh, Meg White. <laughs> Troy's Troy's energy is like he's almost done with this show. He's been oh, done with this show no since way. 2019. Yeah, it's been, years. Yeah, it's been years. He's a fucking DJ. <laughs> no. It's hard to listen to this nonsense when you're a fucking pussy machine. <laughs> <laughs> you think Troy cleaned up back no. in the day? Uh, no, why do we have to talk about cleaning up? Back in the day? Are you a pussy uh, machine? No, I'm engaged. Bob. You're getting you engaged. I am. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. Not anymore. He's a good boy, but. But yeah, back you're in, a, before he was engaged, yeah. before back in the day. Sure, if you looked at him yeah. back in the early aughts, each finger was a different color from a different girl's vagina. Really? That's yeah. Not, that's not true. Yeah. A listener sent something for Troy, which I'm going to go get right now because... It's okay. A, what, yeah. what is it? You'll see. Lube? It's a surprise. Oh, no. Jim, you think he used hey, that thing between the photos. his legs? Yeah. Why don't you bring up the... We're talking, we're talking about Troy. Do you want to see Meg White's cunt? Yeah. <laughs> no, boobs, boobs. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Where'd you get those stylish pants, dude? Oh, thanks. These are G-Star. Yeah, those are nice, man. Yeah, G-Star. You know what the real star is, what's under them. That's yeah, right. That he fucking, used that thing, man. Yeah, that... Jim, that, be honest. You think Troy used that thing? He fucking... He dragged that dick across pussies like a stegosaurus tail. <laughs> <laughs> Just dragged it. Uh, is that true, Troy? No. Back in the day? Back in the day. Yeah. Not now. Yeah. 20, years, 20 years ago. You ever yeah. finger yeah. fuck three girls at the same time? Not. Standing no. up in a bar while you're DJing? You did that, right? No, that does sound fun, though. <laughs> yeah. Because nah, yeah. your hands would stink. Make yeah. white cunt? No, no nude. Just nude. probably nude. Troy, you just want to say the word. You're yeah, just it's a fun nude. word. I get it. Just We can say it and we do. Yeah, but some people say it. It sounds bad. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Here. John on Long Island. What's up, John? Good evening. Hi, how are you? Better now. Listen, every time I hear Sam talk about music, like especially a band that I like, it makes me hate the band. It makes me never want to listen to the band again. So don't listen. I just, oh my God. Like you want it to be so special and it's it's just so awful when you talk about it. I, just I agree. I cannot you. listen. I mean, Troy, you agree? John, yes, I do. You're trying to help him out, but John is not doing a good job of coming up with words to explain his point. Oh, I don't know where to begin. 
What what is it, John? That you, why Just, don't you like Sam liking a band? Sam talk, hearing Sam talk about I mean, you guys never had a band that you liked and it was somebody that liked it that you couldn't stand and you just couldn't listen to the band anymore. And I like Sam. I just can't stand when he talks about bands. Yeah. He sounds so dumb. I just I just can't. I just like that you've like have you've decided this thing and then to people the right. go, What are the reasons? Yeah. Yeah. And you can't yep. illustrate I the point. I mean, yeah, that. maybe it just sounds so stupid. Yeah. Like when you talk, I don't mean it in a bad way. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't taking it. it. Yeah. No, because I listen, Sam, you're, I love you and, and him there, but oh my God, when you talk about music, yeah. oh my God, it just turns everybody off to it. Well, John, I think based on this phone call, you have illustrated the art of conversation better than I ever could. Come on, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Oh, don't, John, John, just take the hit. Don't stumble into more words. No, John, I, I think John should be heard. No, I do too. I think, I think so John's... too, but I don't like him falling for Sam's little traps. No. I, like I'm trying to help. I don't know why huh? that is. I don't, it's like, I don't know why it is. I just figure, God, it's just so painful. It's, Go ahead. Sam is dozzle when it comes to talking about music. I just cannot do it. Bob is now adding more to the show <laughs> than John on God Long Island. damn those veggie chips. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, I oh, it's gross. Harder than it looks, huh, John? Well, uh, listen, people are listening to you talk about the White Stripes and that other awful band that you played. I don't know what the hell that is. That was, uh, now you're insulting Bob. That was Bobby's. Bob insisted on playing Now something. you're going down a path you yeah. might not be able to get back I'm from. You, they're talking about that. Like, grown-ass men talking about, like, kid music. That's what it sounds like. What is your, can you please help us I mean, and tell right, us what way, band we should talk about? The White Stripes yeah. have not been a band in, like, No, 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 I'm not, I'm not talking years. about the White Stripes. I'm talking right. about that other one. The, okay, uh, so you're not, your problem is not with me. Your problem is 100% with Bob Kelly. No. No. No, no. Bob right. is like, he's going along with it. And maybe he's a little fruity, but. A little, yeah. to, a little bad. To be quite honest. But that's, you know. Just talking about. Every artist. Just hearing Sam talk about music is just too much. I think it's you talking about much. anything yeah. is too much. <laughs> you personally. I think the word, he should say, say you talking and then period. Yeah. I'm going to help him with this. Well, hold on. I want to hear what he says. Go ahead, sir. Keep no, going. No, you got this, John. <laughs> well, listen. I don't know. I just. It's like someone that doesn't know anything about anything. Yeah. Right. Talking about that. So you're saying that when I when I when I describe when I describe things that I like wait John you're saying when I describe things that I like or dislike I do a poor job of explaining why <laughs> No it's you Nothing. make it uncool. Yeah. Oh you man, that's, I would hate that. Please don't talk about it. Oh my god, you should just skip those conversations out. You should well, I can the, uh... I can think of one conversation that somebody could have sat out. Listen, I'm not. I'm not busting balls. I'm just saying. Okay. God. <laughs> that should be John's show. I'm not busting balls. I'm just, I'm just saying. What's next? I'm not okay. All balls. right. I'm just saying. What is this? Like, what's what's next? What's the next band you gonna talk about? Well, Who cares? John, we'll leave you on the line. Mike has some advice for you, John. Yeah. What's up, Mike, in New Jersey? Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Good morning, John. Shut the fuck up, you cunt. They make auditory <laughs> orgasms every day. They make beautiful radio. Shut the fuck up. If you don't like it, change the channel, you fucking cocksucker. You hear that? Strong not on you fucking queer. Shut the fuck up. Strong. Why, what did I do? I, hear oh. <laughs> I can barely hear that guy. He sounds like he has balls in his mouth. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking, my cut in my mouth. You stop fucking talking, asshole. Oh, shut up, <laughs> douchebag. Oh, kids. It's All terrible. Right. Listen, for most, for most of your listeners, yeah, I don't shut the fuck up. Story. Anyway, <laughs> hey Jim. Yes. You're dying. Jim, I want to tell you right something on an unrelated topic from a while back. I saw you at uh, Levity. And you look fucking radiant in those corduroys. I never had a chance to tell you about that, but Thank you very much. I'm wearing a pair of cords now. Nice I appreciate guy. that very much. Okay. Thank you kindly. And there's nothing better in this chilly weather, a fine trouser for weather like today. True. I don't you think you're wrong. Morning. You too, buddy. Thank An, you, a Mike. warm, comfortable slack. I mean, it, it is the cure for what ails you. Sure is. I got a new belt. You like your I belt? I hope you wear it as a new, tie. New, okay. I mean, that's just... <laughs> That's just unbelievable. Bob was here. <laughs> hey, so is he a broken rafter? <laughs> Not anymore. 
<laughs> no, Jim, still, Jim still likes the fat jokes. I mean, He's come on. He's still there. a fat joke uh, uh, mechanic. I'll yeah. tell you what, if you did, it would definitely, the, the belt would stay on because you got that nice jawline now. Unlike? Before. Oh, I thought you meant Jim. Oh, no, no, no. Jim would <laughs> slide right off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim would slide right off. You yeah, before me sure. since 1968. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's your bro. Oh. It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I got a new, I think you might like this belt, Jimmy. He's showing his dick. No, he's not. He's showing the belt. It's a plastic belt. Wow. Oh, okay, I was going to go for Jim. You know what? That's pretty... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Oh, literal Jim. <laughs> I, you can't You can't say... I literally just answered Sam's joke. <laughs> not true, Sam. What, what, what are those things on it? Are Balls. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's called design. Oh, so oh you, can get a black, you can get a black belt, whatever color you want. What, is, what makes the belt special, Bob? Jim's touching it now. Oh. Okay, this is this. I wish we had video because he's jerking the, him off. The angle that I'm at, this is so weird. This is a wild <laughs> thing to see. He's giving it a tug. What do you it's think? A, it's a, it's cool. It's uh, I like, but it almost feels like it, is it? Is, how do you loosen it? Because I don't like a yeah, tight belt. It's, makes it's, me it's, what makes the it's belt on smash? the inside, I, so the, there's what? no flap. I don't like the flap on a belt, and you have to put it through the hoops. I hate that. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't even want to show it to you. So yes. you well, well, I speak for the listeners when I say like. I'm, it, there was just I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain it right now. Please I'm going to explain, but I need to show it to the main shark on Shark Tank. That's right. I wanted to show it to him we first. We did a Shark Tank yeah. bit yesterday. Yeah. So it is, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's I'll do a Shark Tank. Thank you. Two thumbs up. <laughs> what? That's not a Shark Tank. What the fuck? What's he talking about? I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> I like old Crooked Mouth Jim. Yeah. <laughs> it's my new smile. I debuted it recently. <laughs> I debuted my new smile. The soft launch of the smile? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You you missed it, but I debuted it, and it was a hit. It's, so, a, it's an arcade belt. It's an elastic belt, and it has like a clip in front, really thin. So it's not uh, like belts. The belt buckle sucks. Yeah, especially flying, traveling. It's always fucking in your gut. All that shit. You wear pants with you. I wear a, a sweatpants. I really do. I fly with sweatpants with no underwear. I got no. I got these new pants from tr <laughs> True Classics. They're elastic jeans. I don't like elastic. Look at, they look hug at, me too feel much. It, look at, look at, feel it. Touches touches waist and midsection. There's a lot of touching. Going yeah, there's, this is. These are two guys that have known nice. each other for a long time. How great time are those? They're great. I mean, dude, they're comfy. These true classic jeans, they're elastic jeans. They oh. look like jeans, <laughs> but when you sit down, you feel like it, they stretch. I like a good stretchy jean. Good stretchy jean with this new belt. Oh, oh, yeah. You should get a designer belt. Like, you got a nice watch on. You should get like a watch. like a Gucci belt or dude, a Gucci, Louis nah, belt. For, or a... for what? Yeah, for so, what? You don't need a Gucci belt. I'm not showing my belt. I'm not tucking shit in. I'm not. I'm not. I You're lost not weight. Designer. I didn't lose that much weight. Mm. I still have around 20 pounds, 30 pounds left. You look great. I get what you're saying. Yeah, dude. I don't belt. I, but this belt is comfortable and it has no flap. And you it, don't and like the flap. I don't like, like the flap. flap. No, he's like a flap. I need a don't. belt, but I don't like the flap. The jeans. They're nice jean material, but they're stretchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true classic. The only T-shirt I wear now too, because it has tight up top. And loose down the bar. See, I don't like tight up top though, unless I, the shoulders. I don't. I don't like tits I, being hugged. I, yeah, but look, I like. I like it. It's like tight up top. It's not loose because when you put they, down here, it's sponsor? nice. Yeah, you don't want no. to grip the no. bottom. No, not a sponsor. I just all I wear. Should bring them on board. Classic. Yeah, you huh? should. You should bring them on board during your podcast. podcast. Yeah, unbelievable. They're the best. Yeah. The best t-shirts out there. Yeah, I prefer yeah. James Purse, but it's me. Yeah, yeah. how much is your t-shirt? Hundred bucks. Will you pay for it? Hundred dollars for a T-shirt? Oh, fucking what? But I, I keep them for years. Man, I, I, I keep clothes my man, for years. My man is, is, is living that a life. hundred dollars a T-shirt. My but, man is living that life. I know I wear them with holes. Dude, boom. I do, but I keep a shirt for yeah, years. No, Bang. Cool. My guy. I don't boom. care. I'll That's keep a, a shirt for for years. Mm -hmm. Most of my T-shirts were free. <laughs> yeah, I also wear my own merchandise, though, as you know. Yeah, but you gotta. This is this is Jim's flex, right? This is when people got to realize what they're dealing with. Jim will wear a free hoodie with a hundred dollar t shirt under it just because he can. I like, like that. That's style. Jim's flex. I like that. I like that. Like and you if, don't even. But know. Jim, Jim will wear a shitty t shirt, little uh, hoodie, hundred dollar t shirt, and then take you to like a, a Michelin star restaurant. That's right. And order like fish, and you order like steak, and he'll pay for everything. He's the man like that. Yeah. He he'll, got cash. He'll ask you for a bite of yours, but that's okay. That's, that's right. okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Friends share. Friends share. Friends share. And I'll offer a bite, too. Yeah. Well, well that's never happened. But bite listen, for a the bite. Thing is, yeah. I nobody, hate sharing my Let's get some shrimp. Nobody wants a bite order. of fish with nothing. <laughs> hey, can you boil a fish? 
<laughs> Can you bore it, then boil it, and put it on a plate? I like a nice plain fish. Oh, you really do. I've been eating poorly lately. It's showing. So. I'm really glad that you ate the barbecue on the private jet. Because I had to. It was you... fucking barbecue. It was the best yeah. barbecue and ever. And you're on the private jet. If you had gone without on the private jet, that would have been a huge mistake. Dude, they, I, I, on that private plane, I'm like, I'm getting a free ride on an amazing the fastest plane you can be on uh, at civ <laughs> civ civil uh, but it was great they gave us a it great fucking plane dude over 600 <laughs> miles an hour before we went to break Bob was trying to sell us on this notebook I know and you had asked him about the notebook I know and now you waited till I have to piss again you got piss again dude we I, just... to... I had two giant cold brews I'm on no sleep <laughs> I slept for an hour when I get home since yesterday morning I'm up it's 30 minutes I know let's take another pee, let's take another pee I'm break I'm wanting to get a single let's take another pee you're break. not you're never back in a single I will if I have to come right back I'll rush, rush and go piss we can take a double I have to fucking we can pee take a double. We if, can you gotta, if you gotta if you gotta sit sit let's take a double I think I need another chip oh whatever you fucking need uh, take a double God get your fuck. chips God damn get your piss, it and we'll be right back fucking spandex the boys are off to get refreshments the cold coffee what well, iced coffee I guess it's called Jim and Sam will be back Holy calamity, scream insanity. All you ever going to be is another great fan of me. Here they are. Jim and Sam are back. With this laugh train, how do you slow it down? There's no brakes on this. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, want to let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things. Oh, welcome back. Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. <clears throat> Robert Kelly <clears throat> hanging out with us all morning. You can hear Robert yes. Kelly on the Bonfire, crackle, which airs crackle. here uh, on this channel Monday through Thursday yes. at 5 p.m. Killbox available for $10 at robertkellykillbox.com or louisck.com. Yeah. And, of course, Friday and Saturday at Wise Guys in Salt Lake City. One of the great clubs in the country. Yeah, go check him out. Then he's going to Saratoga Springs, Austin, Texas. Point Pleasant. That small room in, in Joe's club, they were referring to as like a kill box. And Joe said, it was, he's like, yeah, because of uh, the name of Bobby's special. He, yeah, they, they were talking about that little room as like a kill box. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. It's, I can't wait to go out there and see it. Yeah. It looks, it's, you're going to love it. Yeah. RobertKellyLive.com for all those dates. Uh, but now I, but, but what? Well, no, we were going to. Oh, well, before I was, I wanted to find out what this gift was. Real oh, quick. who's it from? Uh, I don't know, a listener, because you were talking, yeah. you, Jim, had mentioned earlier that Troy used to slang it around quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Is that true? I mean, he swung his cock like ago. a mace. Oh, really? Over his head. Wow. Hitting damsels. Did he, did he put up some pretty startling numbers? Hall of Fame numbers. Wow. He's the first ballot Hall of Famer. Really? Yes, did you or no? <laughs> 20 years ago. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And, and then also, I mean, more, not 20 years ago. No. No. <laughs> it's more recently than that. He turns down more puss than I've ever gotten. Really? Yeah. Wow, dude. You're the man and nobody told me. You rule, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, on that note, I guess uh, yeah, Travis said that a listener uh, had sent a gift in. Oh, geez, a black box. Wait, wait to that. Oh. Wow. Well, I have a feeling it's probably going to go right It's probably your notebook filled with all the you. names of the pussies you've wrecked. That's why it's so heavy. That's why it's so heavy. It's full. So many oh, pages. Wow. Oh, What man. is it? Let's see. Wow. Is it a plaque? That it's a plaque. It's a plaque. Acknowledges your accomplishments? 785 pusses in a year. Just That's how many he did? Yeah. Wow. Oh, that was only in one year. Yeah. In one of the years. Yeah, that was 2006. And he said he did it for 20 years straight, I think. 20 years straight. Okay. What, what does, does that say? say? It says, happy retirement. Oh, wow. In uh, recognition of 25 years of conquest as a master coxman, <laughs> take your BDE to Florida nice. and enjoy your twilight years. Godspeed. And that's amazing. Wow. That's, great, but that's really nice. He did give me a $20 Publix gift certificate. Oh, that's, that's really so sweet. nice. So you can get a pub sub and just think about your conquest. Now, if you were to put that up in your home, I just will not go up in my home. Would your fiance go like? She wouldn't be happy. She about wouldn't that. find that amusing. She wouldn't think it was funny. Put it in the office next you to should, your Elvis bus. But yeah, yeah and it's it's saying you retired. You should yeah. take out the tiles in your bathroom above the tub and put that in there as a tile. That's not a bad idea. I love yeah. that. And and it, and it's saying that you retired, which like is you're a, not doing it now. You're happily oh, wow. in, with a young lady in recognition of 25 years. Of conquests, the word conquest is probably 
the issue that you'd have. And this really is a weighted thing. This is from Ben. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, nobody would want that Look for like that. no guy would want their wife to get one like that. <laughs> Congratulations on your fucking pussy being used like a parking uh, garage for two and a half decades. Huh. In that context, I kind of see what you're saying. Yeah, she might not care for that. Yeah, she wouldn't be happy about that. But you could still find a special place for it that maybe sure. she doesn't know about. Absolutely, about the public's gift certificate. That's, That's very nice. You can get yourself a treat. It. Yeah. Are you moving to Florida? No, I have a house in Florida. You have out where? Uh, outside of Orlando. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's already there. I, I would love to get a house in Florida. You should. Yeah. I love it. You're down there a lot, right? I'm down there a lot. I do very well You ever down do side there. splitters? I just did it last <laughs> week, and yes, I do. One of my favorite clubs in the country. Amazing club. It's the best. Florida rules. It's a, it, Florida it does. fun, yeah. And you like Florida? I, I, love Florida. I mean, people live in like little, it's almost like rich prisons. Cause they, so. mm. it's just a gated community. You mm. can't, people can't come in. You have they have to be scanned in the visitors. So you have a visitor and you have to go. Okay, let them in. And that's nice. And then you know, you like that. gated communities. Yeah, you like to live in a gated community. I mean, yeah, yeah. with the little pool, sure. with the the lanine, with the the little fence, the, the yeah. screening around gated it. Community. Yeah. yeah, you want to get you. Yeah, I play pickleball down there. I you do. I bet you yeah. do. I bet you I'd do. I'd like to be in a gated community with armed guards. You like that? Like who will literally fire on interlopers. You want people getting shot or shot at like like their feet, like where the, where the fucking uh, the the cement ricochets up sure. and hits them in the shin. You want to live like with that. Ted Nugent? Yes, I would. <laughs> Uncle Ted, I could cook you beer. Good, good Ted. Yeah, Florida is the best. It, it really is. I mean, and the houses you can get down there are so cheap. Probably not anymore though, because the pandemic didn't everybody buy it's, up down. It's going it's, down it's, again it's, though. It's going, it's going back, back down. Everybody's having to go back. Oh, I guess yeah. you're right. Yeah. yeah, and people are just kind of realizing life well, fucked up. Yeah. yeah, I got to sell my house now. Yeah, yeah. I did. Fine. I would retire down there. <laughs> no, I, you love it. I would get a place down there for the winter, and then uh, in the summer, I'd go up to my New Hampshire little tiny house. That's what every really old person does. Yeah, uh, they retire to Florida. Fuck Snowbirds. Yeah. They want. Imagine they want that. the nice weather. Yeah. Florida and New Hampshire. That's where you live. <sighs> my yeah. God, what a life. Yeah. Sarasota. I was. I spent Ooh. a week in Sarasota. That I was going to go there. It's so nice. So nice. It's McCurdy's. Where- where Randy Great Savage What's that? From. McCurdy's is the club nice. in Sarasota. It's awesome. Oh. I Unbelievable club. Never I been mean, offered. I mean, <laughs> never been offered. That's McCurdy's. a shame. We spent four days down there, and it's so nice. You love it. Dude, Sarasota's the best. That Dude. would be your spot? The nicest beaches in the country in Sarasota. It's all on the Gulf Coast. Yeah, it's on the Gulf Coast. Even like St. Pete, oh, Tampa, beautiful. Yeah, all Dunedin. Nice. Yeah, Bailey J lives in Dunedin in uh, Clearwater area. Clearwater, yeah. I mean, there's Scientology up there, but who cares? Who cares? Scientology everywhere. Yeah, I love it's it. It's the wave of the future. They Same own all of Clearwater. Huh? They own all of Clearwater. They do, but uh, some of it, but not, they don't, it's other people too, but yeah. I love it so much. Are you in Sea Org? Would you join Scientology in yeah, you Florida? Would. No, but when I was yeah. down, I it was there help you a lot. last yeah. week in Ybor City, which is <laughs> fucking mental. Ybor City is mental. Why? It's like it's like New Ybor? Orleans on crack. Tibor? Ybor. Ebor, Ebor City sucks. That's the name of. Oh, never mind. What? <laughs> that fucking shit music in the oh. street. You mean jazz? S- yeah, but that that New Orleans jazz, street jazz, fucking sucks. Funeral, you don't know, like funeral jazz? No, I don't actually. No, but let's just Ebor City the is music. fucking nuts. So in the day, it's this nice little area you can walk around. At night, it turns into fucking Haiti. This looks crazy. It's crazy. Wait, is that night. where is that? Is that Tampa? That's Tampa. Ebor City? That's Ebor City. Yeah. Is that where the Tampa Improv is in Ebor City? Stop moving your chair. Man. Tampa Improv is well, in. It's, yeah, it's, it's in Ebor City. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, that's why I, I've done that once. The room is nice. Uh, I did quite quite the echo, thanks to my lack of interest generated. <laughs> but uh, it's a nice club. I, I, I've been to Ebor City. There's nothing worse than pulling into a hot spot and you have an empty club. Oh. Oh, when you see the parking lot, there's, there's spots right in front. It's the worst feeling in the world. How many handicap spots you got? None. Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the early show Saturday. Yeah. You call the club, hey, I'm pulling in. Is there a spot for me? Plenty. Yeah, exactly. You can park your bus sideways. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but no, that look how crazy it is down there. Yeah, night. it was uh, it was kind of cool. But a lot of the pl- places in Florida are like that. Like They used to be really bad areas, and then they kind of build them up and build like a nice little fenced-in mall. Yeah, I was just down there. So I went down there. Kyle, had his band, Pip Poltado, was playing Friday night. So I did all my shows and then came back, jumped in the car and went back to Ebor, 
had a park, blah, 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 got out of the car. And I'm like, where are you? He's there. I'm at the bar next door to the hotel because we were staying in Ebor. Nice. So I just went into this bar and I'm sitting there looking for this big, tall, Italian, chubby dude. And I'm like, these are all good looking boys. It was a gay bar. You must have been in paradise. It was a gay bar. They must have loved you. A little uh, older bear came in. Uh, I'm not a bear. Well, Aren't you? He's not Harry. No, oh, I'm, a, Harry. I'm, I'm a daddy. A daddy. I'm a daddy. Yeah. Why are you more of a zaddy to me? You're an otter. <laughs> Is that a young? Uh... That's a little otter. You're a little hairy little. Like a like a like a like a malnourished bear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like a, a yeah like a polar bear that hasn't yeah. eaten in a while. Those right. skinny, those hilarious yeah. pictures. I mean, I don't. I get such a yeah, kick out of Troy, that. Troy is a sloppy bottom. bottom. <laughs> Troy would clean the. Uh, Who yeah. farted? Motherfuck. Jim Norton. Didn't, Jim didn't say he did. No, it, I'm it, it, it's his because I know his. Did and you do it? No. It smells like a shitty. You didn't? Would you no. lie about it's that? It's yours. No. It's I would yours. tell you if I did. Look at me. Did I'm gonna you, laugh because did you fight? No. Look Dude, how casual smells, he is. It's he can't terrible, be lying. No, I'm not. It smells must like been, I must have been Troy. It smells like shit. It smells like a crappy dish <laughs> from you another think it's country. Because somebody else did it. Yes, I do. <laughs> was it you? No, it was you. It wasn't me. That's why I'm enjoying this so much. Oh, I can taste it on my tongue. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. So I went down and and, and oh, that is bad. It's terrible. <laughs> it's the Somebody worst. Somebody else did that, huh? <laughs> that's a that's a that's a plain fart. That's barbecue pressured fart. Are you saying that that's the lactose in the bread pudding going? Pfft. Uh, yeah, look at that crazy. That thing. sucks. That a truck pulling a float. I fucking hate floats. You do? I fucking hate them. What about ice cream floats? Delicious. Good. Okay. Root beer float. What root beer? No, you don't like a root beer float. I don't. I, I would have it. Root they don't suck. Good. Root beer they float don't is suck, the shit. But they're not my favorite. And you had one at my house and you loved it. Root right, beer floats are good. Coke floats are better, but root he beer had, floats. He are had good. a root beer root beer. You had a root beer float at oh, Max's birthday, remember. and you went, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> and you went and got another one. You got two. Okay. He had two root beer floats. Two. I don't know if that's true. I, I hired that's a Jimmy, lot of calories. Jimmy Soft Serve. We used to do Ben and Jerry's. That's what I call Jim. <laughs> Jimmy yeah. Softship. That's what he does on the breaks. Yeah. We used to hire Ben and Jerry's to come, but the guy had a shitty disposition Ew. every year. The same kid. Ben and, and then they, not the other one. Right. And then we hired Jimmy Softserve. That's inappropriate. <laughs> Two guys, Ben and Jerry. So, Bob. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You're What's putting up, these Bob? notes down. You're getting ready for the big bonfire show today at 5 p.m. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hope and you you're... peter out now and then. <laughs> I, I'm so tired right now. I know. I'm so fucked. I got to go do it? therapy and then I got to go to the bonfire, two bonfires. Then I have my show at the Pussycat at 7. Oh, my God. And then I have YKWD at 8.15. Oh, that's going to oh, be a, a rough it's a long with, day. You know with who? Who? Dan Soda. Dan will carry you it's through. It's a very, yeah. yeah Dan that, will carry you that through. Might that might be one. awkward. Why? Well, you know, the, the Dan got fired, and then you're here. Yeah. He didn't get fired. He quit. He got fired. You he told didn't... him to ask for more money and then yeah. took his job. Yeah, Dan got fired. I did not. That's the way I heard it happen. I didn't tell that. You point. told him. That, that is hearsay. That fired. you're a sucker if you work for what you're working I for. Didn't you got to ask that. for more. I said, dude. And you... then you came in for 70% of what he was making. I yep. said it was not 70. You crazy? <laughs> Still a lot because they had a lot, of, a lot of people off just so they, they could sure did. Yeah, Bobby came in. All of a sudden, they fired a bunch of people. They said to him, they said, Bob, we're going to have to lay off literally close to 500 people if we bring you on board. And then Bob said this, I'm not going to tell you guys how to run your company. Okay, you do what you got to do, but this is what the fans want. Yeah. He said. Well, I said, look, you want the bonfire to keep burning? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or do you want a guy, yeah. you know, somewhere doing something you don't even know what he's doing? And you That's said right. this, because you can't afford... What Soda's asking for. That's right. That's what he said. That's burned at midnight early. Not anymore. Not anymore. No. Nope. Not anymore. That was, that was going up. Yeah. But that I'll was going to go up. I'll tell you, you could save a couple bucks. Yep. You could, maybe not, maybe not save a couple bucks. Right. Maybe Bobby, not have to spend any more bucks. Bobby right. Discounts. Bobby, Bobby discounts. discounts. He's the Geico. <laughs> oh, so you, give, you come in, you should get the same thing that he was getting. As he said, give me 15 minutes, we'll save you 15%. <laughs> That's what Bob said when he walked in. Tell us about this notebook. What's going on, Bob? Oh, this is the super note. <laughs> what is the super note? I hate it. Dude, you don't hate it. You're going to love it. You do hate it, Jim? It's a fucking, it's, it's a notebook. You it's a it. digital notebook. I don't like digital notebooks. And you it's don't? A, no, yeah, I you don't. do. You don't even know what they are. Yeah, dude. You've it's never a had notebook, one. but it's digital. No. I've had you, six. I broke them. No, you didn't. <laughs> Name one. Fucking uh, Frank. Oh, Frank was Frank bad. the notebook? I named my, you said name one. Right I did. There. I love it. Yeah, I don't, that's, I don't like to write. Here. Oh, you don't write? No, meaning like like penmanship sucks. What do you what do you show me? Go ahead. Tell yeah, you, me. you can write on it. All right. Come over here. Should I just do it over here? No, you can do I it over here. 
You got a what? Are you, you erect, you, Jim? When you fart, you get... yeah. Jim's erect. Right on. Don't come to the show erect. Look at that. It makes the staff He wrote this sucks. Okay, Travis. I will say it's a little bit... For you. It's a little bit better than other... Uh, that's on uh, I, and Mac. No. This yeah, is that's just a, a notebook. Better. And you can have as many notebooks as you want. So I have a bunch of notebooks. And it's I, not an app. So I have all these different notebooks that I would have before. I'd have like two or three notebooks right. that I have to travel with. Now, they all go in this notebook... I'm and, saying notebook. And then I'm saying it too much. On yeah, the but notebook, if you leave it behind somewhere, like if you leave your notebook, I download it. It downloads automatically to the yeah, but drive. Yeah, you're five hundred dollars if you leave your notebook behind. Whereas yeah, if I leave notebook. this behind, I'm out three bucks. But you don't leave it behind, jerk off, because it's worth something. When Ooh. when you have a set of keys, do you leave those behind? No, you're right. No, that, you that's don't. Right. I you know why? I tell <laughs> you what. There's, that's that's a great example, Bob. Nobody's ever lost their keys. Hey, when was you last time? When was last that. time you lost your keys? I lost mine a week ago Thursday. Because you're an ass. I'm, I'm talking lying. to Sam. I know, but I'm just made that up to defend <laughs> Sam. Remember, I told you I didn't know where my keys were because they moved my hotel room that time. And you found them. I mean, eventually. I found Bingo. Them. When you're an adult and mature, you don't. Something's valuable to you. You don't lose it. When it Can means I see something. your notebook? I won't fuck with it. I want to try you, to write. I'm not uh, gonna fuck with it. I'm yeah. not gonna ruin your notes. Yeah. I want, to see, I want to see what it's like to write in this. Yeah. And is there an option in the menu to clear all? Yeah, it's heavy. <laughs> I like a light notebook. Travis, are you sold on this? No, I got notes on my phone. Well, okay, but you this- You have as many notes as you want. This would be to replace people who actually write in notebooks. Yeah, but you could do that on your iPad. Uh, mm, it's not that good. Like any- uh, How do you know? I have an iPad. All right. and so I what write. A regular, just regular. Because it's like uh, it's like it's like right. reading on a, a. I typed on. It's not responsive at all. It's like reading on a Kindle versus reading on an iPad. It's better to read on a Kindle. Yeah, if I'm reading, sure. Or writing, It'd be the same thing. No, those are two different things. Reading and writing and yeah, arithmetic. Yeah. 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 How do you? How are you feeling about the digital writing, Jim? Gonna erase. No, right here. Just touch there. Well. Oh. He tried to erase it with his finger. That's not very intuitive. No, it's not. It's not intuitive. No, you should be able to rub it out with the... Uh, he's... No, use the pen because your fingers don't work. Use this right here. Oh, you yeah. see how it's flagging? Is... Just erase. Just erase. Oh, my gosh. It's really Stop hard touching. to erase. Stop touching. Oh, he dropped his drop pen. pen. Stop. Stop touching. You made Stop. me drop my Just pen. Just run through it. Just run through Not with your finger. With the pen. Jim, this, this seems is... difficult. This is something they sell at a kiosk. Oh, my gosh. Now it's back to the notebooks. <laughs> Jim just proved why it is not. It's not user-friendly. I don't know how to erase it? it. I'm trying to erase. I'm hey. just making it scribbly. I thought it was supposed to be easy to use, dude. It is easy to use for, for non-morons. Okay, so. It's moron-proof. Look at Watch this. Erase. Watch this. Boom. Da boom. He's picking all watch. the options on top. It's Look, just too much. It's, it's heavy. It's... And then if you want to erase like this, without doing it, you can do the two-finger erase. It's Ready? It's a watch heavy. It boom. Tap, tap, tap. Watch this. So. Look at I'll circle all this. It's all gone. I mean, you erase, and then you start writing again. Watch this. Boom, boom, boom. boom. You need to get one? Hell no. No, I don't want to. Why would he need one? He, 300 he, notebooks. He doesn't get anything one. done. Then again, for, yeah, for notes for the show. It, I got notes on my It's iPhone. the best for notes. On the, you keep it there, and you push a button, sync it. Google Drive. Always have your notes on your phone. I don't use Google Drive to sync. What do you use? Smart. Yeah. Dropbox? O only on my computer do I sync things. What do you use, uh, what do you use to sync stuff on the cloud? I don't use the cloud. Fuck that cloud Jim's in his ass. Google biggest Drive cloud hater. Cloud. I hate the fucking cloud. I don't use it. Well, you have a dark cloud around you all the time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that deserves something. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't fuck with Google Drive. Yeah, Supernote. It's the best. They have a little one and a big one. I love it because I have notebooks. Well, I'm a writer. Little... I like to write. I don't want to. I like to write then type. I like and this to... has you can put scripts on this and then make notes on the script too. I don't like any of that stuff. You got a little one or a big one? I got the big one. Nice. Of I, I bet you do. I don't. I don't. I bet around. you do. I do have a big one. I'm flirting. You goddamn right. You're flirting again. You little flirting. Yeah, yes. That little nose is twinkling at me. Yeah, you see isn't it. it. I see it. You see yeah. a dog. Come on, yeah. son. You see a dog. I see a dog. Okay. We're gonna walk back to the garage together. No, I don't know. It's... What? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? What happened? I'm just kidding. Thinking of the Sopranos. <laughs> yeah. In the garage. That's I just saw that scene. He goes, wait a minute. <laughs> no, he went down on him. No, you mean the guy, the security guard was going? No, he was Vito was going down on the security guard. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Whoa. When they, were, when they were eating lunch, and <laughs> they were accepted it. They came to terms with that. He was getting, he was getting head. Yeah. But they found out he was sucking. They said, "Whoa, Whoa. that's a different game." <laughs> <laughs> well, Bob Kelly, congratulations, the co-host of the Bonfire. It's official. It airs Thank you guys. Monday yes. through Thursday on this channel at 5 p.m. So cool to have you on board. 
Uh, you can get Killbox at louisck.com. And, of course, Wise Guys in Salt Lake City, Friday and Saturday, robertkellylive.com for all those dates. You can also uh, get on board for the Not Sam Wrestling Podcast Extravaganza Wednesday, March 29th at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. It's Not Sam Mania, and you can get your tickets at notsamlive.com. And tomorrow night, I'm at the Fat Black Pussycat. I've been doing my hour every Wednesday, and it's going swimmingly. So hopefully you can come by tomorrow and see me at 7 p.m., and then just, you know where else I'm going to be. Go to my site. And uh, check out Bert's uh, Netflix special. I'm, uh, I'm happy mm. for him. And then the roast is April 1st. Is that out now? It came out today. And oh, cool. OnlyFans TV, the, uh, or the Burt Roast, is streaming on the 1st. And I, I was very happy with my set, so that's why I'm promoting it. Can't wait to see it. Well, I don't know. We'll be back tomorrow. Hopefully. This has been Jim Norton and Sam Roberts. Listen whenever you want with the SiriusXM app. Free for most subscribers. Download it today and start listening outside the car. <laughs>